I don't know why I did that. <laughs> that was random as hell. <laughs> What's up, gang? Grand evening to you all. Thank you for joining me this evening. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope you all have had a very productive and positive day. I hope that your day has been filled with success and bliss. And nothing but positive, you know, energy around you and good news coming to you, okay? So, yeah. Let me get in the chat and say my hellos before we get started. This is going to be, what's your person currently thinking of you? So, we're going to get into your person's psyche. We're going to get into their subconscious. We're going to see what's going on in that noggin. <laughs> Be sure to like the video if you haven't. Hey, Cardi31. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Deanna. Where you been at, girl? Hey, Joe Woe. Hey, Brittany, baby. Yes, you made it. I'm glad. Hey, Samantha. Ah, Trisha, you're so stupid. <laughs> What's up, baby? Take me out to dinner. <laughs> you know, I'll take you out to dinner anytime, baby. Then I got Blenny. I'm talking about I got Blenny. What's up, Blenny? I'm thinking about I'm giving off numbers and stuff. My bad. What's up, Blenny? What's up, Sierra? What's up, Antonio? Welcome. What's up, Coco, baby? Hello, Divine. Hey, Miss Deanna. Deanna. What's up, God's Earth Angel? What's up, love bud? Hey, Andrea, baby. What's up, War Clock? Andrea, how you doing, love? Central Libra, my boo thing. What's up? There goes Smooth Groove. What's up? Where you been? You been MIA. Okay. You need to be popping in, Smooth Groove. What's up with that? We don't like that. Okay. <clears throat> What's up, official? BD. I don't know. I guess that's how you say it. Sunflower, what's up, baby? Zionisha, hello, my love. Josepher, what's up, boo? How you doing? Hey, she's virtuous. Hey, Wonique, baby. Key to love, what's up? Wonique gang and shit. You feel me? Free fire, hello, love. What's up, Taya? Oh, look at all my babies in the building. My real family. My real family. I had to do some clearing and shit because what we ain't finna do is be sneaking attack, sneak attacking in this bitch, okay? Especially not when it come to my motherfucking soul tribe because, baby, I go hard for y'all too. And we don't do none of that. We don't do none of that shit. We not, we not doing that. That old weird ass sneaky deceptive shit. I don't like it. I don't like motherfuckers who steal. And I definitely don't like a motherfucker who lies. I'm not finna allow it on my platform. So yeah, I have to do some uh, some clearing and detoxing up in this motherfucker. Okay? So, yeah. If you don't see them, don't ask about them. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay? If you don't see them and I don't, I don't bring them up, don't even worry about it. I don't even worry about it. You feel me? Because we not on that. We ain't on that Cormac shit. You feel me? We ain't sneak attacking. We ain't trying to be nosy and see what a motherfucker got because they want it type shit. No. We're not doing that over here. Okay? We're not trying to create blockages for one another. That shit weird as hell. What you here for? You must know you a Cormac motherfucker. So you trying to take everybody, everybody down with you. Fuck out of here with that. We don't do that. We don't do that fake shit. I, I'm just glad I got a soul tribe who in tune with their intuition and discernment too, though, because half the time it only be confirmation. You feel me? So, yeah. Um, Scorpion, the verb, if she ain't here, baby, you 100, you solid too. 
You feel me? So, yeah. We just don't do that. Like, I don't like that. But I had already been picking up on it. So, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to see. We just going to ride it out. We going to see. But then it got stamped. So, I was like, okay. Babe, I was right the whole time. My soul tried to be paying attention. And I love the fact that y'all pay attention. Y'all don't just be here for the drama and all that shit. Like, y'all really be on the same frequency with your girl. So, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Okay. But I don't do that fuck shit, okay? That's the quickest way to piss me off. And that's the, the the quickest way to get your ass punted the fuck up out of here. And block, bitch. We don't do that shit. And I don't like it. I just don't like that. I don't like a, a slimy ass motherfucker. I don't like that shit. That's weird. Why you on that? So, yeah. You ain't miss nothing. Well, nigga, I'm just telling y'all where I am, you know, and if you went tune, you went tune with your girl. I don't even need to go into detail, but you ain't missing nothing. I'm just telling y'all what the fuck it ain't going to be over here. We're not doing that shit. Okay. I don't like it. I don't give a fuck about the money enough to just be letting motherfuckers come up in this motherfucker being sneaky and conniving and, 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 and backstabbing greasy ass sneaky plotting scheming dirty i can't stand that's dirty ass energy to me we don't do that shit we don't gotta do it because we already got it's already in us you feel me it's in us not on us we ain't gotta be sneaking around and trying to peer in other people's energy to see what the fuck is going on within us collective that's weird either you with us or you ain't ain't no in between you gonna get exposed regardless you know, and I be so into the message. Sometimes I really don't even be paying attention to the chat. If y'all notice, and then sometimes I pay attention to the chat, and I be like, Nah, I would okay. Let me pay attention to the message because I don't need to digest some of that shit. But I, I, I'm thankful for a real solid soul tribe who is in touch with their higher self and connected to the divine. Because there's nothing like confirmation from your soul brother or sister. Like, oh, okay, well, damn, you sis, thank you, because you just helped me realize that I've been on point the whole motherfucking time. So, thank you for helping me stay in line. You feel me? We are uh, 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 brothers one to another. Iron sharpens iron. We are a family, like a giant tree reaching out towards the sun. <laughs> But yeah, I want it to remain solid. And I don't give a fuck enough about no subscribers either. If, if, if I'm the only platform in this motherfucker rocking with the only 8K subscribers I got, then fuck it, we rocking it out. But I, I guarantee you, it's going to be real and it's going to be genuine and it's going to be from love because I ain't no fake phony motherfucker. And I ain't got to prove that. If you rock with me long enough and you been rocking with me long enough, you, you already know that about me. You feel me? But yeah. So now that I got that out the way, okay, um, we're going to get up into this energy, see what your person is currently thinking of you. Because um, Eric Bellinger, um, I thought I heard I spent the night with her. I spent the night with her curves. Eric Bellinger, I got it. But that ain't even the song that's playing. It's Mozzie Jaded. So somebody's releasing a third party here, okay? This is somebody who is very, like, they project a lot. Their insecurities, their hurt, their trauma, they like to project it on other people and play victim when shit doesn't go their way or when someone is holding them accountable. Who is that? Thank you, Jamie. Gang, gang, baby. Thank you. Oh my God bless you, Tom. See and doing anything you spend, you get it back. Times what? Ten, baby. I love you. Thank you for that. But, um... Like I was saying, this is a third party ex, or it could be even a work relationship. Very codependent. You know, when they're being held accountable, this is someone who likes to throw temper tantrums and gaslight and cry and make a scene and, you know, break shit. It gets real extreme with this person. So someone is like ready to let go of some type of toxic karmic relationship. Uh, uh, like, yeah, I just heard a karmic contract is over. So. You know, take it as it may be. Remember, take what resonates. Leave what does not. Everything that I'm come, uh, everything that I'm picking up on, 
may not resonate with you considering this is a general reading okay so man woman flip it if it's not you you know it's them if it's you you know you know you know how i go and remember energy is past present and or future okay so you gotta say you know the energy as it comes to you okay as it resonates with you throughout the um stream or whatever but um Somebody look over third party, but somebody want to spend a night with you. Somebody, because, yeah, like I said, that wasn't even a song that was playing. I was hearing a whole nother song, and it's not even the same tune, and I could have swore it was literally playing real loud. I heard it. I heard, I spent the night with her. I spent the night with her, curse. I promise I heard that in my head. I'm like, damn, that shit loud as fuck. That's what made me pick up my phone. I'm like, damn, that shit loud as fuck. That's Eric Bellinger. I just wanted to confirm, and it's not even that. So I know this person want to cuddle with you. They want to, somebody want to, they want to live with you. Okay, so this is definitely going to go towards like some type of high level commitment. Ah, girl. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. Thank you, Aubrey. May God bless you times 10. Boy, and anything you spend, you get it back times 10. I love you for that. Thank you. Y'all are such a blessing. I appreciate y'all. But yeah, and then I'm, I just heard pretty toes. And she got pretty toes. She fuck all my bro. That's why I call girls. I call girls. I call girls. I think it's Eric Bellinger goes. Goes, she be right there by my side. Something, something, something. And then you know, I heard trap niggas fall in love sometimes. And he was like, he said something like, Niggas hurt it, but she heal quick. She get to the money real, real quick. That just might just make us real rich. <clears throat> Cause baby, you bad as a habit. I'm trying to poke it out, stab it. I, something like her kitty magic she got the abracadabra so somebody's really into you okay or divine masculine you know you could really be feeling something you can feel this this divine feminine energy because that's what it is it's a divine feminine here and empress energy because i just saw the empress card in my third eye i was like boom empress it ain't nobody but the empress it was like holy spirit was like don't play with them tell them what it is it's boom the empress so it's definitely a divine feminine you got this divine masculine who is obviously a divine counterpart or high level soulmate he's either a a a an emperor or in hierophant energy but there's somebody with some power he got that power he got that fuck I, I like it okay so this some i'm here you walk with it wow the deal so this masculine got that wow and he do got that you know what i'm saying his pockets his pockets match his demeanor if you know what i mean so this emperor's pockets matches his demeanor <laughs> you're gonna be eating hibachi <laughs> <laughs> okay so this somebody coming to spoil you and show you you know like who you are to them they want to treat you like the empress they want to treat you like the emperor. It's definitely going to be an equal exchange of gifts and power and emotion. Like, y'all going to mess so motherfucking well. People going to be mad because can't nobody come between y'all. This is a strong-ass connection. Can't nobody come between y'all. Nobody want to see us together, but it don't matter, no, because I got you. Ain't nobody fucking with y'all, okay? I just heard, um, that's why by eric bellinger this motherfucker looking for you and they don't give a fuck they like i don't want nobody but this empress period why wouldn't they not like you the one not the two you every queen in a deck and then some because some of y'all are empress and a high priestess so you got that magic okay you got that Ooh, nah, 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 nah. i'm not just talking about intimately but i'm talking about spiritually emotionally you a healer you got that healing water, okay? You got that healing power, that goddess energy that, come here, let me take care of you, baby. I got you, whatever you need, baby, y'all here. And oh, my God. oh, my God. I think I found the one, y'all. Hey, hey, y'all finna get married, cuz. That's it. It's, it's, it's up in the stuck. I, 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 it ain't nobody else. Nobody does it for you. Don't nobody do it for this person like you do it. 
your touch, the way you cook. Some of y'all cook for this person the way you got them <laughs> eating that plate up filled with love and healing energy and shit. Yeah, that motherfucker like, oh my God, they can cook, they can clean. They don't smell like onion rings, bro. Like this person, like I feel like this is someone who was definitely ran into a lot of I really feel like it's a lot of feminine, but it could be males, but they don't take care of themselves really like they should. So this person is running into a lot of strong, different feminine odors. Like, like or you know, it just look funny. You feel me? <laughs> so, but with you, it's a whole different vibe. Like you op you you open your flower and you let it bloom and it's just sunshine. This motherfucker like, oh my god. Like, I'm getting that download again about how your yoni box matches your face. It's like I can look down and I can look up. I can look up and I can look down. And they're still amazed. Like, oh, my God. It's so pretty. It's so pink. It's so beautiful. It's so magical in there. Like, it's heaven in there. Your person feels like it's heaven in there. Now while I'm here, like Beyonce, like Trina, I need a big booty, black diva, like a stripper, uh, I'm in town like Flippa, I'm in double, let me see it from the back. <laughs> so, <laughs> obviously, you got your person feeling the way, baby. They can't get off you. You got that. <laughs> you got that so big like the sun. I hope you got a mouth for it. I wanna. No, I'm gonna say I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I may be shy, baby, but I ain't scared. Shy and scared is two different things. Once the mom family gets comfortable with you, <laughs> come here, rude boy, boy. It's a big enough. Come here, rude boy, boy. Can you get it up? <laughs> <laughs> the mom in me. <laughs> you really got this person head spinning. You feel me? Because it's like, who are you for real? It's so many different layers to you. It's just like, damn, I got to get to know all of them. They want to get to know all your personalities. And they want to know them well. Okay? But this person definitely sees you as a star energy. Okay? So, yeah. My mask one, I see y'all though. Y'all out here looking good, smelling good, getting to that bag, okay? Getting that money, some of y'all swelling up a little bit. Getting thick and strong and tight and firm. Mm, confirmation. Somebody trying to get that, somebody about to get their walls knocked out. <laughs> they about to remodel your interior, Divine Feminine. You know what I mean? This somebody trying to look, you mine. Like they trying to make you look, they trying to let it be known. You belong to them. They feel like, they really feel like uh, there's nobody better for them than you. Yeah, they want it. They need you bad. Gotta have you, gotta have you. Oh, girl. I need you back in my life, back in my mind, oh girl, gotta have, and no, no, gotta have you, gotta have you, ain't that pleasure, P? <laughs> Look, ghetto Cinderella, blast, this person feel like you ghetto Cinderella, you probably, yeah, you like the lotus flower, uh, flower bomb, you, you, the concrete rose and shit. You feel me? You're that rare gem. You've been overlooked a lot in your life. And now it's your time to shine. See, everybody done been ran through. And that's what God was protecting y'all from. Being ran through. It wasn't meant for you to shine then. Damn. Thank you, Aubrey. Girl. Girl. May God bless you times 10, baby. And anything you spend, you get it back times 10. That's love. I appreciate that. But it wasn't time for y'all to shine in. You feel me? God was preparing y'all right before y'all enemies. As much as they talked about you. As much as they 
hated on you and said what you wasn't gonna do, who you wasn't gonna get, who wasn't gonna never fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? All that, all that rah rah shit in the background. You feel me? Oh, why you fuck with him or her? Oh, they do this and that. X, Y, Z. Oh, well, they ain't got this and I heard they did this with this and like, okay, yeah. And I feel like y'all just let people say whatever the fuck they was gonna say and you just proved it through your your healing. You know, you loving on you, you getting to your bed. You feel me? You taking care of your kids on your own. You ain't out here looking like you got it and really don't. You ain't out here posting and shit, trying to make it look like everything's all together when your shit is really together in real life. So your posts hit different. These motherfuckers mad because you ain't out here in, in, in one of these little cliques and shit. Acting like you got it and broke his fucking real life. Or just one of them hating ass hoes who mad because they got umpteen kids, no ring, different baby daddies and hating on y'all because y'all stopped at one or two. Or you got four or five, six kids and you really got a bag and you taking care of your kids for real in real life on your own. And these motherfuckers trying to figure out, well, if we told everybody not to fuck with them, why they still winning? Because God, duh, and your person sees God all around you and in you. So it's the God in you. Your person sees the God in you. They see you as an emperor or an empress because who the fuck told you you wasn't going to have shit and you done proved all them niggas wrong? All your naysayers wrong? Like you powerful. And now this person is recognizing the same power within them. So this is definitely a high level soulmate twin flame connection, you know. But you help this person awaken to their God frequency. And now you really outshining everybody. Now all all eyes on you like Tupac. Now everybody trying to <laughs> what they doing? Oh my God! Look, 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 y'all! They really doing this shit without without they help, without they validation, without them. You know what I'm saying? Putting in a word in the community like it's little dumb petty ass shit like that. And y'all done built a whole brand or you're about to build a whole brand on your own with your own face. You the face. You the money. You the face. You everything. And all they can sit back is watch your glow up. Watch you shine and watch this person come towards you. And possibly for some of y'all, marry y'all. Put a ring on your finger and solidify it. So you can tell these hoes to really kiss the ring. Okay? You are already the empress. You sitting on your throne alone. With you and God and your spirit team but as far as like physically somebody by your side a lot of y'all single and doing it on your own as the emperor and empress and people mad because what they ain't got a hand in your cookie jar they can't tell you how to go when to do where to go who to give to you know what I'm saying who not to they can't stop your money you feel me so a lot of y'all just about to really put it in their face. Somebody about to claim you real life shit. Like not just claim you as, oh, this is my girl. This, this, you know what I'm saying? This is my life partner. Like, like, nah, they about to, this is my wife. This is the ring. Like you worth, you worth whatever, however much. This motherfucker ain't going to be no small ass ring. Just know that it's not going to be nothing modest. Because you're dealing with an emperor and now I'm seeing the king of pentacles. So this somebody who, who who step and rock with the big dogs, baby. They don't play it small with, with they woman. Or, you know what I'm saying, they wife to be. Because that's what you finna be. <laughs> Bars, unintentionally. Bars again, baby. You see how God be flowing through me. Bars again, baby. This life work. I could do this all day. You, you feel me? Come on now, like the video if you haven't. I got 137 uh, likes and 200 views. Get the lights up in the chat. Fuck with a real nigga. Come on now. No play. Okay. All right. Let's all have a good day. Like Ice Cube said. Okay. But yeah. But yeah, this is somebody who definitely seen you like just really transform and stand in your power and be exactly who you are and not be bullied. These people tried to bully the fuck out of y'all. Like, what? Bully? Bully who? Who you bullying? Thank you, baby. Thank you, Kamisha. Thank you, baby.
May God bless you times 10 more than anything you see. You get it back times 10. I love you. Thank you so much. I love y'all. Nah, but for real though, y'all be getting me all emotional, but for real though, like, but they tried to bully y'all. They tried to exile y'all, isolate y'all. They felt like if you was alone, you was vulnerable. And yeah, you may have been, but they put, they put King Kong in the lion's den. You like Gohan and shit. You feel me? These motherfuckers felt like you was a pup. They felt like you was you was a. They felt like you was a uh, fragile. They thought it was sweet. They really thought they could rock you to sleep, baby. Like for real. And they they really tried to sing you a lullaby. And you may have, you know. I feel like. It wasn't you, like you believed it. You just went with the flow. You was just like, okay, well, fuck it then. If that's how everybody's really feeling, I don't mind rocking this shit out by my goddamn self. For real. Like my god, by my goddamn smoke, by myself, choke, by myself. Damn, get money by my goddamn self. Y'all didn't get fucked. And that's, that's, that turned you all the way up. I just heard all the way turned up. All the way turned up. Yeah, y'all turned all the way up on that ass and you came out King Kong in that bitch. <gasps> now your person like, damn, that's me right there. My baby King Kong in this bitch. Beating on your chest. <sighs> like, oh, it ain't sweet over there. Yeah, don't let don't let the modest tumble spirit. Fool y'all motherfuckers. God made us that way for a reason. But y'all needed to have that 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 inner strength awakened in y'all. So it was meant for y'all to go through the test anyway. But your person see you like, damn, my baby a big dog, a real big stepper. Like we re we really doing we doing it like that. Yeah, like that. Your person can't believe you best they fly like them. I really met my one. I met my ace. Your person feel like you they ace. Like, you everything to this person. Like, you can just, your vibe, even with even with you, like the mood. Like, you know, you can, you in tune with your person's mood. Like, you know what to say, when to say. You know, it's just like y'all always on the same frequency. Like, y'all really move together as one. Like, energetically and spiritually. Like, y'all just go together. Like, it's just a, it's just cool. It's coast. I just heard uh, Victoria Monet coasting. So yeah, you and this person, y'all just be coasting and shit. And it's just the vibe. Like, and you just read your person. Like, for instance, I ain't gonna lie. Me and Gemini, we was kicking back and shit. And we was talking or whatever. And I kind of got on my little bully shit. You know, I kind of beat my chest a little bit. Like, hurry up. And he stopped and he looked at me. He was like, don't rush me. I was like, <laughs> Okay, yeah, you right, you right. Let me, and he said, whoa, okay. I like that shit. That shit turned me on. Like, damn, I had him fucked up. And he let me know so respectfully. Like, don't do that shit again. Like, <laughs> respectfully noted, baby. I won't do that shit again. <laughs> That's that, ooh, nah, nah. Okay, you know, you know, make you want to submit. Like, damn, you sure all right. It's, it's one thing to have a masculine in that type of energy and they ain't got no vision. They ain't got no direction and shit. They ain't got no discipline. It's a whole nother feeling and vibe when you got an emperor talking to you like that. And it's just like you can't help but to respect it because it ain't like he wrong like them. I probably was doing too much. But you all right. I'm so my baby. What you want me to do to make it up? So yeah, you and your person, y'all gonna have a real good time. It's gonna be a whole vibe, okay? Y'all gonna rock. Y'all gonna rock, bro. <laughs> y'all gonna rock, literally, for a long time. Like, y'all are really going to be a very successful um, uh, husband and wife. Materially, like, y'all are gonna get a lot of abundance together. And it's gonna be good. You and your person are gonna be good. Very much so, power couple vibes up in this reading tonight 
So you know, if you know you a boss and you attract, you gonna attract what you are, period, point blank. So if you a boss and you ain't settling, then you know you're gonna attract your equal because it's destined. You in your power, you're balanced, you're healed, you're focused, you're disciplined, you're listening to the guidance. It's it's only it's only a matter of time. It's the patience is what what you know needs to be worked on with a lot of divine beings in their manifestations. You gotta be patient with God because you don't want nobody half healed because you're rushing God and he be like, all right, here, well, here it is. I had somebody, I got I got them for you, but since you rushing me here, go ahead and deal with that karmic ass. <laughs> and then you be pissed like damn. Fuck, I should have let that motherfucker self there and heal. <laughs> Now you blocking this motherfucker and you mad at him all over again. Now you got to heal all over again. Shit. Next time I won't rest you God. I bet you won't. You tired of dealing with them heathens and them demons and shit coming into your life. Wreaking havoc. You'll shut the fuck up and let God do what he gonna do. And your ancestors be tired of fucking fighting them demons off. Because you won't listen to shit. You rush your shit. Everybody telling you to be patient, but you. <laughs> your ancestors like, bruh, we got, listen. We tired of putting these motherfuckers in the headlock. Because <laughs> you won't listen, bruh. <laughs> Demons over there like, I mean, they kind of right, though. I mean, I am in a headlock, but they got a point. <laughs> you ain't tired of us? You ain't tired of us yet? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so just have patience. <laughs> Okay, and believe me, let me tell you, if you just now starting out on your journey, believe me, all of your brothers and sisters who are who have grown and matured in the spirit will let you know that this shit take patience. You, you can't skip that lesson. <laughs> you can't skip patience, baby. <laughs> you gonna learn that shit one way or another. You can't run, you can't hurry God, you can't hurry God, you just gotta wait, like, 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 my, my sister Doug and, and Elder Dorinda Clark Cole, past the first lady, <laughs> you can't hurry God, you just gotta wait, and I know waiting on God, like she said, seems so impossible, but you just gotta know, you gotta have faith, and know that, okay, if it ain't came now, that means it's something in a way that need to be removed. Even if I don't see it. Because God sees all. He sees what we don't see. You know, he only allow us to see what he want us to see. And sometimes only what we need to see. Because sometimes he'll block what we want to see so you, you can focus on what you need to see. Because sometimes what you want to see might distract you from what you need to see. So yeah, God works in mysterious ways. That's why you got to be in tune. You have, to, you have to worship him in spirit and in truth. Meaning you have to connect with him on the soul. So if your soul is unclean and detached, you're not going to hear from God. You got to come to him and say, Lord, clean me up because <laughs> I'm a filthy, ratchet being. <laughs> I'm hearing that song, Lord. Make me over. <laughs> Somebody needs some healing. Or this is your person. They've done a lot of healing. But on a serious note, I'm hearing that song. Lord, make me over. Make me over again. So it's the worst of... So like, yeah, you have to... It come from within, baby. But well, yeah. So let's get into these numbers. All right, you can be seeing 11, 11, 4, 4, 4, or these are number since your person is seeing. Uh, seeing. <laughs> Woo, Nick, girl. <laughs> I 
For real now. <laughs> Gotta power wash my soul. Like for real. Like get it all out. Hey, you purging this shit. You be purging in your own house. <laughs> Lord, I was that dirty. <laughs> Take this shit outside. <laughs> Drop it up the block. <laughs> and scurry down on that shit. Like, Skrr! you ain't said nothing but a word. Get it out of here. <laughs> Those who have purged spiritually, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you don't want that shit back. <laughs> you be like, <laughs> like that emoji. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> for real. <laughs> no, for real though. Take me to the car wash, man. <laughs> Boy, Nate, please. <laughs> Just stand there with that wash. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> okay, let me get back into the message though. <laughs> like I said, 1111-444. This could be, both of y'all could be seeing these numbers, but if it ain't you, it's your person. Okay, because I did, this, this is about what your person is currently thinking of you. So, yeah, I feel like your person is seeing these number syncs. And I feel like you are too, but you already know what they mean. So it's like, you like, I already knew that. <laughs> and it's crazy because one time I'm telling y'all every time I'm with Gemini I'm always seeing number scenes like they just like clockwork and it just be so crazy okay like it just be so crazy how they hit because I be like I don't be expecting that shit it's like my spirit team and ancestors be like bingo I be like oh, yeah. <laughs> okay then I'm with it, you know. Oh, uh, but anyway, enough about me. 11 11 You could be seeing 13 13, 21 21, 888 555, all right, the songs I got for y'all, I have Bino and Doughboy, Dead Faces, okay? Your person is really missing you, okay? Your person has lost a lot of close homeboys, homegirls, or, you know, just friends and family that really meant a lot to them. But, like, you like the closest, the next thing closest to them like that. Like, you are really, you got their heart, basically, and they missing you. But for some of y'all, this person is kind of scared to get close to you because they tired of losing people, you know, close to them that they really love and they know that, like, really love them back. You feel me? So, there's somebody who healing this shit. They healing. But you are helping them heal because you are helping this person embrace, um, you are helping this person embrace love into their life and, and embrace in themselves in their emperor energy and still be able to, you know, like, Remember the people they lost. Make them proud. So now your person is ready to turn that like grief into celebration with you. So. Alright. Then I got Chris Brown wobble up and feel something. So your person definitely want to feel something. They want to see you wobble, wobble, look. Wobble, look. Wobble, wobble, look. Y'all know what Chris Brown said in that song. Your person want to see you make it wobble, wobble. Uh, uh, shake it, shake it. Ooh, break it, break it. Ooh, don't break it, break it. Damn, I ain't heard that song in so long. That's the old ass song. Is that juvenile? Wobble, wobble. Shake it, shake it. Ooh. Break it, break it. Something like that. That's crazy. 
okay? But y'all person love your backside. Y'all got a nice backside. Like your backside, like your whole backside. Like it ain't just your, your apple bottom or you, your peach, you know what I'm saying? It's your whole back. Like they love how you look. Like you have a very beautiful backside. Like, you know, you shape nice. You got a real nice structure, real, real nice posture too. If you know what I mean. They love seeing you in that <laughs> position. Okay. Yeah. Some of y'all been doing them hip openers. Keep doing them because they working. Y'all person see the difference too. They like, if you and your person, you know, been or have recently or as of late, they see the difference. They like, oh shit. <laughs> Got them weak in the knees, toes curling and shit. <laughs> what they say, you got to pay it up like a $2 hoe. You know how that man feet was in the coffin and they had them socks on them. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What What is that? Is that Kingdom Come? What What movie is that? When they had his daddy in that casket and <laughs> his toes and shit. <laughs> Let me keep going, okay? be looking like you do it for this person <laughs> so yeah keep doing them then the verb <laughs> God's earth angel I'm gonna kick you out the chat bro <laughs> get started with y'all because y'all are y'all y'all just don't do nothing but fuel the shit okay but that's why i fuck with y'all that's how i know y'all really my soul family <laughs> <clears throat> so then i got i got k camp young and free for some of y'all this person seen they see you out here single and shit they don't like it for some of y'all, they know they got to let you do your thing, though, because they know, like, they fucked up. They got to give you your space. You loving on yourself. Not saying you with anybody else, but this person may see you getting attention, and, they, and there's possible options out there, and they like, I see you doing your thing, but I don't like it. You feel me? I want to text you. I want to call you. I am. This person is. They are. They like, they are. So, I mean, they may not like it, but they got to do something about it. Some of y'all like, ring me, please. That's the only way. You feel me? Lock this motherfucker down. You feel me? So some of y'all like your person know like you ready for marriage commitment. You like so you ain't got time to be lollygagging and frolicking and doing all that extra ass shit. Plus y'all too busy building your your empire and shit. So you know sex and all that other wretched ass shit. It can wait. You did all that. You feel me? That's what you you healed from. That's what you did when you was in your shadow and shit. So you already know what's out there. Ain't no need to keep indulging. You passed that shit anyway. Let me focus on this empire. Let me get this money. Let me make sure my foundation and my kids and my family straight. Like, you on that type of shit. Everything else can come later as long as it's not a distraction. You know? Like, you want somebody that know your focus. Because they got their own focus. And y'all focus like they're similar. You know, so you need somebody with structure like you. You don't want somebody that has no discipline, no structure, you know what I'm saying, no vision and no direction. Because no, you're gonna you're gonna leave me in nothing but chaos with you and I don't have time to even fight my way up out of that type of shit. Like y'all past that. So if single until God brings you your person it is what it is, then a lot of y'all cool with that because you at peace anyway. You don't want your peace disturbed at this at this at this point. They can't, nobody can come in disturbing your peace. And this person knows that because they want the same shit. They want peace. They want loyalty. They want love. They want wealth. They want success. They want a real family. They want stability. They want, they want a home. They want a legacy. Like they want what you want. So yeah. And, and this person is not lazy because they're an emperor. So you know they work hard. You know they're a go-getter. And you know they prove themselves in whatever they do. 
And then nine times out of ten, it's for self-satisfaction. It's not to please anybody else. It's really for the emperor. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let's keep going. <clears throat> and then I got enchanting, free free hate. Okay, so some of y'all been holding y'all. Y'all twenty of them down. Okay, twenty of them could have been locked up. But, hey, your person finna get out real soon. And y'all, y'all basically, like... Even unintentionally, a lot of y'all pull a lot of people card street cred. Like y'all, like y'all didn't demolish somebody's street cred. It's not solid. Like so, a lot of people coming at you, like bro, it's like you need to worry about your street cred and what you got going on instead of trying to bully me out of a relationship. Like that's crazy. Like you got so much shit going on. You a rat. You a snitch. You sell. Pum pum, your kids is dirty, your house is in shambles, you ain't got a car. If you got a car, you about to lose it. You can't keep no gas in that bitch. Low tire pressure coming on, or check oil, light, all that type of shit. Like, bitch, you need to worry about that over there. Like, people really tried to bully y'all. Like, ain't like you like you didn't have no comeback. But your comeback in your it was your paper. Your level up. Cause you was like, I ain't gotta put my hands on y'all for y'all to feel me. Y'all gonna feel this success. And you'll let a motherfucker know that because you passed all that shit. Like, well, I've been in the streets. I done did that. Or you've experienced it and been around it. And you know that's not what you want for yourself or your children or moving forward in the future. <clears throat> and don't mean it's, it's not in you anymore. You just don't operate in that energy unless you have to. You know? So you like, mm, yeah, I'm past that because that's what you bitches want me to do. Or that's what you punk ass niggas want me to do. Y'all want me to get out here. Y'all want me to lash out. Y'all want me to crash out in these streets with y'all. Because y'all know I'm really on that. Y'all know I'm with the smoke. Y'all know I'm really with all that. So y'all want me to crash out? No, nah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep focusing on my business, my education, and I'm going to get my money up. And Y'all going y'all gonna to have to catch me. That's what y'all going to have to do. Y'all going to have to catch me where I'm at. And nine times out of ten, y'all going to be, what, ten, ten steps behind? Maybe 30, 40, 50,000 steps behind? So it's just like, what? Watch y'all. I'm, I'm cool. Y'all just gonna have to watch me do me. How about that? Okay? So, yeah. Thank you, Aubrey. You are a blessing tonight, baby. I appreciate you, love. May God bless your time sin, boo. And anything you spend, you get it back time sin. But, yeah. So, some of y'all just really been holding your person down. Like, you know. And, and now you're saying, like, waiting on them. Like, but as far as, like, representing them and your friendship and your loyalty to your person. Like, why they been locked up with solid. Or, you know what I'm saying, them getting out and them realizing the love ain't changed. It's still the same. Y'all just had to learn some lessons. Or y'all needed to go in separation because there was some things going on that, you know what I'm saying, was not, it was unrequited. It made y'all situation unrequited. It could have been a baby mama. Could have been mother or parental issues. It could have been some inner child wounds, you know, that needed to be healed because, you know what I'm saying, they trauma bonding with their homeboys that ain't growing outside of whatever, you know what I'm saying, childhood environment they grew up in. You know, so a lot of y'all had to let your person go their separate way, you go yours, and y'all both, you know, do y'all healing, and, and now that y'all are healed enough, y'all meet up on the same frequency. But some a lot of y'all didn't pull some cards here, you feel me, and your person's solid at the fucking end of the day. I don't know why I had to say it like that, but it may be some rumors like your person a snitch or your person ain't really solid or they did X, Y, Z, and don't, man, tell them, shut the fuck up. Them niggas can't do what your person did and stand 10 toes on shit, I guarantee you. Put the pressure on them hoes. Let me the same motherfuckers that ain't hit shit, don't got no aim. <clears throat> just jumping off the porch in the streets. Don't know the G code. Don't operate by no type of moral code. Don't have no integrity, no type of discipline. You know, like, bro, shut up, bro. You you just talking out the side of your neck because you want to clout us off somebody's name. That's weird. Get your own fame. A real man ain't trying to build his legacy off another man's name anyway. That's weird. You ought to be trying to start your own. Why the fuck you want to be tied to a nigga name you don't like all the time, but you building off the cloud? Get the fuck out of here, you weak, whack-ass niggas. Y'all some punks. Y'all don't know how to stand on y'all own. And y'all know that motherfucker really about that. Y'all the same motherfucker snitching. Can't get no money from your bitches. You're busting your stitches. Broke-ass bitches. Broke baby mamas. Y'all all broke. Everybody broke around that motherfucker. That's why y'all all mad. And that's why everybody's trying to attach themselves to the real empress and emperor energy. 
because <clears throat> everybody know who really winning. And y'all ain't got to speak on it. They just see it. Even if it's just spiritual. Like, bro, get the fuck out of here. Y'all niggas want to be gang so bad, but y'all don't even know what gang is. You, you, you niggas is telling. <laughs> I heard you niggas in trouble. I don't know why Quavo just popped up in my uh, energy, but yeah, these niggas and bitches in trouble. Shit. This karma and this tower hitting their ass. They don't know what to do. Yeah, bitch. You getting, yeah, you getting karma for trying to snitch. You getting karma for trying to um, tear down somebody's reputation, bitch. Whether they locked up or not. They still divine mask on bitch. And that ain't never gonna change. That's just the lesson they had to learn for the time being. And I guarantee that motherfucker ain't going back. So... Motherfuckers always want to speak on somebody past, but can't never can't never talk about what they doing now because y'all exceeding, y'all excelling and ascending past that bullshit. So all they can do is keep bringing up what the fuck you did and who you used to fuck with. Ah oh, nah, bro, I don't know. He he did X Y Z, ah bro, I heard he ain't even taking care of his kid, bitch. Like nigga, shut up, nigga. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. You worried about another man's kids? Are you taking care of yours? No, because you're too busy worrying about somebody else's. These, these motherfuckers are weird. Okay? But yeah, that's what I got out of free hate. These motherfuckers better shut the fuck up talking about y'all. For real. Because it's going to be some 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 going, some home goings is all I'm going to say. Motherfuckers going to warn like, oh, motherfucker, that motherfucker got into a crash. Oh, that motherfucker got hit by a car. That motherfucker, that motherfucker got towed up by a dog. Like just crazy ass shit. Like it, it, yeah, that motherfucker got hit coming out the stove. Niggas don't know who hit him. Niggas always talking about somebody. That's why nobody can never pinpoint shit. And then they get hit, drop. Oh lord. <coughs> Can't believe such and such is out of here. Yeah, I can. <laughs> and not to be too, deta too detached, but motherfuckers need to start being realistic about, about certain people that just get up out of here. Y'all know them motherfuckers be out here doing all that dirt and shit. Talking about motherfuckers scamming and scheming and lying and plotting and playing both sides. And when somebody finally catch their ass, catch a nigga slipping from behind. Bow! Oh, Lord! Let's, let's stop doing that. Y'all motherfuckers be knowing. Kids or no kids. Because like I said, at the end of the day, I'm real careful about how I move. Because at the end of the day, my kids suffer the consequences behind my actions and decisions. Whether directly or indirect. So I'm very cautious about how I move and the way I portray myself in, in the community. Motherfuckers need to start understanding, yes, there's consequences by putting your mouth on certain people. Certain people's name you should not speak ill on. So motherfuckers is finding out this lesson. <clears throat> so that's what I got out of free Hank. All right. <laughs> then I got Giveon, like I want you. So your person don't want nobody else but you. Okay, can we get the likes up in the chat? 236 views, 196 likes, like the video. Okay. Shit. Don't come over here and be a weirdo. Show some love or get the fuck out of here. Shit. <laughs> then I got Eric Bellinger. Perfect picture. So this person feels like y'all are a picture perfect couple. Like y'all are perfect. In their eyes, y'all together make the best match. Y'all match each other's fly, like I said. Okay. Then I got K-Camp. Comfortable. Your person wants you to get comfortable. They want to make you comfortable. So this person is coming to make you comfortable. Now I'm picking up on her. Comfortable. I feel so comfortable with you. <laughs> yes! Your person feels comfortable with you. And they want you to feel comfortable with them. So this is someone who's going to provide you with a safe space. All right. Then I got District Kurt. HFL, homie friend lover. They want to be a homie friend lover. Okay? They want to be a homie friend lover. Okay? 
okay or they see you as their homie lover friend however you want to put it to your lovers and friends that usher john and luda had to do it again so yeah your person you know what song i'm hearing though i don't know if y'all ever heard that song it's it's a um, a picture of me on top of you doing things that lovers do i can't remember the rest of that song but i've been trying to find that song for a long time but i just heard that song and i can only remember that certain part and i it, i don't know if it was a mashup to lovers and friends but it's i was young i was like 16 but it was like the, the girl i don't know who the girl was but her versus Started off like picture me on top of you doing thing like doing thing that lovers do. Is that one night stand? Okay, yes, little John, one night stand, yes. Okay, so that's your person, but they want that for a long time. Okay, they want that for the long time. Okay, so yeah, and um, then I got uh. Tink lessons, yes. So this is someone who definitely has learned some lessons and they're thankful for the karmic lessons or for some of y'all, this could be your energy, okay? You move past your exes, the hurt, you've healed, you're loving on yourself and you just, it's just a letter to your past, like, and to everybody in it that did you dirty. Like, thank you for the lessons because I needed them. I needed them. They, they made me who I am. Like I said, y'all, King Kong energy. These motherfuckers put King Kong in the lion's den, bro, and expected to win. They didn't know who you were, though, but now you beating on your chest. You know, spiritually and energetically, you beating on your chest. You ain't got to say a word, you feel me? Just your actions, how you moving, what you were achieving, your success, your goals, your transformation, the growth. You've elevated, you, you've ascended. So, yeah, like, you coming out like, damn, like, we did all that, and they still on their shit. Like, fuck, we look stupid. These people feel like they look stupid. Okay? So, yeah, team blessings. And also, I did pick up on this person is definitely, they, there's an ex, they, they let go of, baby, they, or exes, they're never, ever going to, they can't, they ain't spending the block on shit, bro. They can't come back. And if it's a baby mama here, or a baby father, okay, they may have children with somebody else, a third party. They're definitely setting boundaries. Like, they're letting them know, like, they're putting them boundaries up. Like, you're going to have to respect me. And, you know, soon this person is going to be incorporating y'all relationship. They're going to set boundaries. You know, you're going to have to respect my relationship. Because this person defending you knows that you will never do any harm to their children. You know, you're going to love their children like your own. So they they trust you because I feel like y'all are protectors anyway. You feel me? I feel like y'all are very serious about protecting the young, the children, you know, babies, toddlers, you know, young adolescent lives, the innocence. I feel like y'all definitely are big on protecting the innocence of, you know, the young. Because I feel like for some of y'all, y'all may have experienced traumatic experience that you heal from that puts you in a protective mode that you say out oh, i will never allow this to happen to my child and i will never allow any other child to experience it or feel unsafe around me like you definitely provide a very safe place for children so this person defending your honor and the connection they know for a fact like they're, they would never do that like because you know how some people say don't have them around my children they're gonna do this uh they're gonna do that they don't like me woo -doo -woo -doo -woo, whatever the case may be but this person like even if you don't like their baby mama they know you have never ever made that child aware of their feelings towards the the parent because you're always going to respect the the mother or the father uh, uh you know of the child you know, while they're around, you're never going to make that child feel like even if you don't like their mom or you got an issue, you're never going to expose that child to that type of shit. They're always going to feel loved and accepted. And they're going to always know, like, at the end of the day, they respect my parents. And, you know, that shows the child, like, oh, it's not the new person or it's not my dad's girlfriend or wife or, you know, it's it's my mom or dad. Like, my mom or dad is the problem. If people, people need to realize a child is only going to remain young so long. Children's mind develop. They change. They observe. They start to collect data. Like, people don't understand that about children. Especially these people who use children as pawns in their game. 
they don't realize like some people do have their children brainwashed but when you got a stand-up parent they're really like they're structure one and love unconditional love all the time they're gonna realize like oh yeah nah that's not that's not cool like they start asking questions like mama why why is always a problem you know well, I want to go over there, or dad want me to go over there, or mom, you know what I'm saying? Like, why is always the problem? Like, what's the issue? Like, I never feel unsafe. Like, kids will tell you, like, they start looking at their mama's side out. Like, what's the real issue? Like, you know? But, I, like I said, with you, and, and it, it could be a whole different, and I'm not saying that's the whole situation for everybody, because there are certain things that children aren't able to see that children can be blinded by. I know that. But what I'm saying is when you are a true divine being and you know you are sitting here to love and protect and to exude that into the world, children are going to be your first priority because they're innocent. You want to protect that innocence at all costs because you need them to be high vibrational. You need them, you need them to be the next generation of healed beings. So, yeah. So, yeah, but, yeah, this person knows, like, you're good. And, you know, even if it gets to the point where, you know, they're just, like, they're, your person is not going to give up on you. They're not going to allow their baby mama or baby father to control their connections or relationships. It's just simply respect. Like, you're going to respect my boundaries or you're not. And I feel like your person has shown them that they, they are healed enough to make a coherent decision on who they want to be with. Because I feel like this person is no longer indulging with them. Because I, I feel like these are options or people that wanted a chance or had a chance with your person. It could be a baby mama, but also, you know, people that just like your person or want to be with your person. Like, your person is rejecting hella people. And they're definitely standing up for themselves and creating healthy boundaries. Like, you know, like, no, I don't, I'm not interested, you know, even if they telling them you with them or not, but people know it's a reason. And for a lot of y'all, they know it's the Empress. So it is what it is. All right. So then I got fabulous cold summer. Yeah. It's finna get real lit for y'all. It's finna turn up. I feel like y'all had a rough cycle these last couple years, you know, cleansing, clearing and just, you know, healing and definitely getting your shit together. So, you know, y'all probably experienced a rough time, you know, 2020 up until, you know, maybe this year things start really just looking up for you. But it's about to be, it's about to be your turn up season. So get ready. Like you're really finna shine. And I see this person seeing you as, you know, the star. Then I have Eric Bellinger waiting for you featuring Armarion. All right. So this person definitely misses you. They definitely reminisce about you. So for some of y'all and somebody from your past, others, others of you, this is new love you've connected with. But this uh, waiting for you energy is definitely giving me someone from the past. But it could be new love, okay? Because this person probably been waiting on you to see them for a long time. And you finally released your ex. And now you, you heal and you can see them for who they are. For some of y'all, y'all true love been right in your face the whole time. I don't know who that's for. And then I got Tink throwback. So y'all definitely trying to get some R&B, you know. Um, H Town, Joe to see energy, you know, like escape, you know, SWV, you know, like y'all finna really do some, y'all finna have that old school 90s love R&B type shit. Like y'all got a real, y'all got a, a dope ass vibe with this person. So it's, it's finna get real lit. You feel me? Then I got Joe to see what about us. Yeah. So some of y'all just is somebody from your past. Somebody you have a real strong connection with, though. Because it's powerful. It's like a powerful change. That's what I just heard. A powerful change. Okay, so you could definitely be dealing with a twin flame. Or this is just your divine counterpart. You know, your kingdom spouse. The one you're supposed to build this legacy with. Okay? Then I have Vito. You got it remix. Okay? Featuring Young Dolph and Moneybag. Okay, so yeah, this person feel like you got everything, bro. You got everything they need. They want you just all a whole lot of sugar spice and everything nice you feel me and if you're a divine masculine like you got everything to provide and protect like this divine feminine sees you as someone who you solid as a rock baby you solid she respects the fuck out of you okay so you never have to worry about this divine feminine ever emasculating you or trying to disrespect you because she respects the fuck out of you all right, and she definitely wants to protect your heart. So she's gonna protect the man who protects her. 
including your heart. So Divine Masculine, you got a real one. And I do feel like this Divine Feminine will go to war for you too, though. You know? But I feel like you don't even want her to have to get in that energy. So you definitely are a protector. But this Divine Feminine don't play about you either. So let's just get out, get that out the way. She ain't afraid to step and protect. Like, this is the Divine Feminine with a warrior spirit. Very nurturing, very kind, very gracious. A good listener, nurturing, emotionally balanced, you know, a healer. But when you fuck with hers, it's not nice. You're going to see Kali Ma come about your Divine Feminine. Real life shit. <laughs> Seriously. Like, it's not going to be nothing pretty. Segment. Kali my energy like no we're not doing that <laughs> okay so yeah so yeah just know this divine feminine protects and steps to divine masculine but she does that because you provide her with that that's respect baby that's real love you feel me that's some gangster shit <laughs> alright then I got uh, fabulous too late so somebody's wondering if it's too late for y'all. I don't feel like it is for some of y'all. For some of y'all, I feel like you just wanted your person to heal properly and get it together. It wasn't like a waiting game. I just feel like you healed yourself. You were working on yourself and just praying that this person heal. You know, not saying heal, like heal this person so we can be together. No, you just wanted this person to heal so they can get on a path and save themselves, you know, and be great like you know they're destined to be. Not necessarily be great so they can be with you i feel like you really heal you ascend you ascended a lot like you are a healer a earth angel you feel me so this person feel like you rich in their soul and you heal every part of them that has been untouched laid dormant like hurt they buried you know like you you really did a number on this person okay you definitely restored their their uh, faith and love and partnership here. All right. Then I got Key Glock, fuck a feature. So y'all out here doing shit by your goddamn self. Like I said, fuck a feature. Y'all ain't, y'all don't need no collabs. Y'all don't need nobody. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's divinely guided, of course, you're going to take an oppor opportunity given and make it count. But as far as like I hear asking, nah, they got to come to you. They got to ask you for the feature. Can I get on that? Can you do a song with me? Can you collab with me? Can we get together and brainstorm some ideas? They got to come to you. You the money, like I said. Then I got Victoria Monet, uh, Party Girls. So, yeah, Devon Finney, y'all out here shining, okay? I feel, I feel like y'all can definitely be the life of the party, though. I definitely feel like y'all lighting up a room, okay? People flock to y'all. Y'all are very handsome, very beautiful. Very handsome, very beautiful individuals. Face card valid. Okay, y'all face card is valid. Y'all makeup, no makeup. Turn the lights on, turn the lights off. You know, club lights hit you, it gives you a glow, a certain look. Turn the lights on, that shit's still there. You feel me like, damn, they really look like that in real, real, uh, real life. No filter. Yes, baby. Okay, so yeah. Y'all out here shining. You're shining, ain't you? Divine masculine, you gonna you said what this gonna be getting me the girls. That shit that you shining, ain't you? God damn it, I love it. Okay. Then I got young Dolph all mine. So somebody out here claiming you, you got a boss, because young Dolph is definitely a boss emperor energy. Okay. Definitely a magician. So yeah, y'all got somebody with uh, you know some status, some clout. They like, yeah, I'm making you mine. Like, this person, you you stamp, okay? Some of y'all stamp and don't even know it. You finna find out, though. Then I got uh, Stephen G, make it work. Some of y'all person could be a little toxic, okay? It's a little toxicity in that song, but, I mean, what can you, I mean, what can you, of course, like, you expect this person to feel like that to a, some of y'all, okay? So that part's not for everybody. Some of y'all, if you know, you know. Okay, then I got Trevor Jackson, my house, and all the way. So this person definitely want to get you, get you. I heard Tink get you home. This person wants to want to either get a room or they want to get you to their place. Cause now I'm here. Come, come on over to my place. Who is that? I don't know. It's the old school song. I think it was uh, another rendition, also a modern day rend rendition of that. Is that Marvin Gaye or Al Green? 
Who oh, is that? Come on over to my place. Let me blow my nose. Okay. Then I got uh all the way by Trevor Jackson. All I'm gonna say is divine feminine. This divine masculine wants to dive deep and explore your ocean. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. They're gonna make you feel it. Then I got Eric Bellinger, keep me in mind. So yeah, this person been thinking about you a lot. Okay. And they hope you you you've been having them on their on your mind as well. So this person hoping you've been thinking about them too. Okay. Damn, that's without the cards. Y'all, why y'all didn't tell me, bruh? I've been on this motherfucker almost an hour talking to y'all and channeling. That's crazy. It don't feel like it, though. It feel like I really just got started. So maybe the energy is gaining momentum between you and this person. Calm down, my love, and let's reconnect our frequency. Healing, us, healing and ascension. So, yeah, this person is, is connecting with you on a soul level. They they ready to merge with you here. They, they ready to merge souls with you. So, y'all could definitely be twin flames. But this is someone who sees you as their better half. They feel like y'all are spiritually meant to be. Intentional veto. So, yeah. This is somebody who definitely got plans for y'all. Okay, so let's see. We got abundance at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, your person definitely is feeling like this is an abundant connection. Look, yes. So, yes, your person is definitely thinking, like, whatever they come towards you with, they want you to say yes, but I feel like this person has gotten their confirmation about you. Yes. Listen to your intuition. Yeah. So, this person has been listening to their intuition. Yes. So, this is the confirmation. Okay. Your person has been listening to their motherfucking in in intuition and they got a yes here. So, yes, this person, is, they know you are their soulmate, counterpart here. And if you were wondering, yes, this is your divine counterpart. Yeah, in the near future. So, this shit is about to happen real fucking soon. Okay? Maybe a couple days. Maybe, yeah, like a couple days. Communicate clearly here. So this person is coming with some type of communication here. In the near future, look, big happy changes. So yeah, your person definitely has been, look, perfect timing. Yeah. So expect this big happy change between you and your person within the next couple days in the near future. That's like a couple days. That's not even weeks. It could be a couple weeks. But I'm not getting that. I'm getting a couple of days. Y'all about to have a conversation with your person. Okay? They about to come tell you the truth, how they feel, and what they're ready to do with you. Okay? I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it at all. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Big happy changes in the near future. You and... You and this person are about to be very abundant together. So this person definitely, excuse me, this person definitely is listening to their intuition when it comes to this connection. They're in a high vibration, bro. They've ascended. The angels are definitely talking to this person about you. They got their confirmation. I'm hearing you should get your confirmation today. That's six black or something like that. Or not six black, but black. Take one step, take two. The other side of you is on the loose. Don't have much to say. Something, something. Something, I'm on the way. Something like that. You should, you, you should get a plan for this. You, yeah, somebody's about to travel towards you. Either flying or they're going to get in there and ride. They're hopping in there and ride. I just heard 
Lil Corey say yes. Yeah, there's something, something, something. I just hopped in my ride. I'm on the way. Say yes. That's crazy. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes, girl. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes, girl. Say yes. Say yes. Look, poetic justice. You're about to have a decision to make here. But there is balance, okay? Poetic justice. They feel like you poetic justice. Like when they hear that song by Kim Kendrick Lamar, Poetic Justice, and they think about the movie, they, they see you. They really see you as Poetic Justice character on the movie Poetic Justice. I feel like you are a poet. Like, and you may not necessarily consider you a poet, but the way you put your words together, you're very healing. You're like a Maya Angelou. Like, I feel like some of y'all may not even be poets, but you have a way with words and healing here. All right? Because that's what she basically did. Even though it started out rocky, like, she healed him and he healed her. So there's definitely an equal exchange of, of, of emotion and healing going on here between you and this person. But, yeah, they see you as very innocent, and they know you've been through a lot, okay? They know you experienced a lot of trauma in your life and they not here to bring you no more strife see how i put that shit together poetic justice your person feel like you poetic justice like and even if you don't like this person may want to write you a poem okay they may want to write you a poem you know or they you know what i'm saying want to express their feelings through a letter you know they may have to write it down and get it out clearly everybody can't verbalize themselves like like you you know sometimes people have to write their feelings down and read it out because they can't get it out unless they you know what i'm saying can see it because it's so much you know what i'm saying it's it's genuine it's pure it's really coming from the heart and it's not always easy for everybody to vocalize you know what i'm saying their their expressions from the heart sometimes people have to write it out and then speak it out loud it's more affirming for them you know it ain't necessarily for you, but it helps give them helps give them that confirmation that this is how they truly feel because they wrote that shit down from the heart. It wasn't rehearsed. It wasn't practiced. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It, it was true. It was genuine. Holy Spirit, so what is this person currently thinking of their person? What is my soul child's person currently thinking of them? Persistence and patience. The peacemaker. Didn't I tell you patience, bro? It took patience in this connection. This is why your person loves you. Because you definitely had patience with them. And you're healed. The peacemaker. You live in peace. You operate in peace. You're divine. Everything's magical and fruitful over there with you. It's balanced. Okay? So, yes, this person feels like, you know what I'm saying, you, you've you been consistent. And, like, you're patient with this person. Like, you definitely go with the flow. You have a very go-with-the-flow energy about you. Look, possibilities and, and potential. Boo-boo the fool. So, this is someone who is definitely thinking about taking this leap of faith with you. The fool card. Yeah, creative expression. Creature of water here. So this is definitely someone who sees you as someone that's worth taking a risk on. They're, yeah, they bet it all on you. This person is betting it all on you. And this is what makes them the fool. Some people are a little upset about it, but, you know, your person knows, like, they're going to win. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be 7-7-11. Seven, seven, That's all a nigga rolling. And I just seen 7-7-7 seven, seven, seven in my third eye. So, yeah. It's like, um, uh, what, uh, not Harry. What's that dude's name off of, uh, baby boy? Jody's, uh, mama's boyfriend. He was like 7 Eleven. That's all a nigga rolling. So, yeah, y'all gonna be winning. You gonna, y'all gonna stay winning. Once the, once the, once the ball is rolling, it's up. And once the dice is is, is 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 been, you know what I'm saying, tossed and shit, bro, shit finna go. It's finna go so fast and look up so much for y'all. Cause y'all focused. Y'all leaning on faith. Y'all not looking at the physical. This is spiritual. Y'all taking guidance from the most high. 
So both of y'all in this fool energy, really honestly and truly, because as much as you are focused on yourself, you taking a leap of faith with the most high by just, you know what I'm saying, taking that guidance and direction, which is leading you into either new love or you and this person reconciling. Yeah, Father God. Yeah, radical rebirth. I told you the most high is with you and this person. So God is definitely helping this person transition into a new life with you. Yeah, spiritual. What is the spiritual rebirth? The star. I told y'all, bro. I don't make this shit up. So this is someone coming to you in the same frequency as you already are. Yeah, they meet you on your frequency here. You helped this person heal and they went through a transformation spiritually. So now they're able to show you love and, and pour into you as you poured into them so much spiritually and emotionally. It's going to get real blissful between you and this person. You are their dream come true here. Yeah, highly sensitive root of water. Baby, when I say this person can't get enough of you, baby, they thirsty for you. You definitely quench this person's thirst and don't nobody do it like you. And you fruitful, you smell good, you look good. Man or woman, like divine masculine, you are so emotionally fulfilling to this divine feminine. All she want to do is submit, baby. She just wants to fall into your, your authority as divine masculine. Like she's embracing and loving this energy of being able to just operate in her empress divine feminine energy. Because this divine feminine is balanced, but I do feel like this divine feminine has definitely had to operate in her divine masculine energy as the emperor for a long time. And you come in and you've given her this satisfaction and security to know that she can operate in, as the empress and, and, and manifest and create opportunities for you and with you and surrender and know that you got it in control, baby. Oh. Oh, hey, don't play with it, don't play with it, no. yeah, acting up, can't kill, yeah, this person know, like, oh, they ready to give it to you, you've been showing out and shit, looking all beautiful and all that, you feel me, you got that water, okay, divine masculine, you got that feeling, you got that feels, you got them feels, hey, divine masculine, you get divine feminine, them feels, but yeah, this person sees you as a star, baby. And they, they don't want to let you go. They're ready to be truthful and honest about where they are with you and what they want to do with you in this connection. But they are going to give you an apology first. They do want to make peace with you first. They're not just going to come in and be like, look, I know we need to be together. We soulmates and woo, 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 woo. No, they're going to be, they're going to come correct. They're going to acknowledge their faults. They're going to acknowledge their mistakes, their hiccups. They're going to offer you an apology and, and they're going to respect you enough to ask you, you know, could y'all have a conversation, you know, about possibly mending and reconciling and maybe moving to another level? But this person isn't going to pressure you. I just heard, I ain't trying to pressure you. Just can't stop thinking about you. You ain't even really got to be my girlfriend. But I just got to know your name and maybe sometime we can hook up. Hang out, just chill. <laughs> yeah, you, you got a vibe. All you wanted was peace to begin with, and they recognizing that. They gave you war, you know, when you were meeting them with peace and unconditional love for some of y'all. And God dealt with this person, to be honest. That's why they are going through a radical rebirth, you know, and radical truth is being exposed here. God dealt with your person sit your person down and reprimanded your person spiritually, you know, and let them know, like, they weren't supposed to move how they were moving with you. Or this person wasn't supposed to go with you, you know, moving forward into this new life God is getting ready to grant you with, you know, if you're, if you're looking for new love and you let go of someone from your past that you were dealing with romantically or maybe even sexually here. Um, yeah. Yeah. There was definitely some emotions involved, but God definitely showed your person where they went wrong and God corrected them with, with love, but it was firm. It was definitely firm and stern. So your person learned them lessons, like I said, bro, and they want to just give you love, show you love, shower you with love. Like I said, and it says highly sensitive. So you and this person are definitely feeling each other's energy, literally. So you could definitely be picking up on more 
sacral chakra activity, okay? Your sacral chakra could definitely be going off. You could definitely be feeling, you know, your kundalini. You could be feeling this. You could have a kundalini awakening. Some of y'all having a kundalini awakening with this person. But yeah, I mean, this person is in, in alignment in totality. So yeah, their higher self has finally met their their physical. So now it's like their mind is 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 you know in divine frequency. So the body is making more conscious decisions and action. Yeah, and moving in a direction as it should. So yeah, it was all about God. Like I said, God has to. You have to. You have to know God from a, on a soul level, and you have to let him in if you want to know, and you don't feel like you know him. But he's not going to force anything. But I do feel like, I do feel like y'all are chosen. So God definitely put a little more time into you and this person's connection. Yeah, Ten of Wands here. This person, like I said, they carried a lot of weight, you know, a lot of karma. They, they paid a lot of it out. You know, like I said, God definitely had to humble this person. Yeah, Eight of Swords here. God had to, you know, allow your person to be stuck in this Ten of Wands energy for a while for them to get it. So it ain't like, it ain't like they coming towards you to do you like they did you the last time. Some of y'all need to know when you're dealing with a karmic though. If this motherfucker keep giving you red flags, let that motherfucker go. You need to use your discernment. Why you keep taking a motherfucker back that come back with red flags? I don't care how much you love them. I don't care how much you feel for them. I don't care how good they 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 sexy is. Is it worth your peace? Is it worth your 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 soul sacrificing your 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 eternal eternal abundance for a quick fifteen second or three second? No, nope. yeah, two second orgasm. And then you come back to your senses. And that motherfucker still the same demon they was when they came back. So now you mad. Don't keep putting yourself through it. It's pointless. I don't know who that's for. But anyway, moving on to the ones who have healed and know what's up. This person is coming to you in the same frequency that you are already in. I feel like your person definitely learns fast, move fast, and they definitely evolve, it, evolve and ascend it fast. You could be an Aquarius, an Aries energy here. Maybe a Taurus or even, um, I think I said Aquarius. Yeah. Or a Libra with this peacemaker here because it's giving me God is my eye. I see justice, okay? A, A, A could be very significant or August could be significant. Look, your son, I say your son. Some of y'all about to have a son, okay? Or this person wants a son with you, okay? But this person sees the sun with you, okay? Like I said, they see everything with you in totality. Yeah, judgment. This person is making a decision to choose the ultimate happiness. You are their ultimate happiness, baby. You really bring the sun to their life. Yeah, this person definitely went within, did a lot of soul searching and self-reflection. Virgo, okay, energy here. Aries, but yeah, this this person, like I said, they went through a, a spiritual test and they passed. This time they're ready. They're they're not focused on the physical. They're more so wanting to stay connected to the most high because that's where the abundance lies. And they want to do right by you. This is somebody who has been illuminated and they're ready to be happy. Like they're ready. I heard Kevin Ross ready for it you could be a leo here or you have it in your chart y'all don't have to be these signs i call out and neither does your person it's just the energy really that i really be calling out but if you are these signs then cool that's extra confirmation but yeah this person sees you as the the ultimate happiness like they see you as they're everything they want to grow old with you with this sun card here this is somebody who like basically feel like y'all started life together y'all gonna end it together uh-huh with the sun card this person knows like there's a deep soul connection between you and this person y'all could definitely be um um twin flames that's what i was trying to get out but some of y'all are really earth angels and stuff like for real but i feel like you and this person have known each other for a long time 
Y'all were meant for each other before y'all were even born. Excuse me, confirmation here. So yeah. There's a lot of truth being exposed, a lot of illumination. Look, it came out anyway. So like I said, bro, this person knows the truth. There's there there's nothing else they need to know besides to follow the path. And go where God says go. And it's lead, God is leading them right to you. They're going towards the sun. Look, four of cups. This person definitely is rejecting other offers because nobody does it for them like you. And I feel like in the past, when they realized that, this person was in heavy regret. They even got really temperamental. Yeah, five of swords. Your person regret fucking with these people. They regret self-sabotaging. They regret being negative, listening to the lies and the rumors, and just allowing these fake-ass individuals to surround them and present them with false-ass opportunities and shit. So this person is definitely missing you. You solid. This person sees you as someone who is solid, someone who is healed, and someone who is creative and just beautiful inside and out. Like, your soul is beautiful. Your soul stands out to this person. Not just your physicality. You know, your soul speaks volumes to this person. It's very deep. Not a swords here. Yeah, this person ain't playing no games. This person is rushing towards you. Okay? And they definitely ain't playing. People need to get out this person's way because they serious about you. Like, they're not playing any games. And they're going to have to respect y'all relationship or they're going to have to see them, period. Yeah, not a wands here. Let me tell you something. This person is so bored and so uninspired without you, bro. Like, this person just... They feel so... Like... When they, <laughs> unentertained... It's just like, nobody, like, y'all not my person. I don't want none of y'all. Like, and people really don't like when your person get in this energy because it's like, damn, can't none of us cheer you up? Like, your person just, like, they be ashamed. Like, bro, like, I can't believe I acted like that with my person because y'all, like, these certain people that was around your person delaying this shit, blocking this shit, hindering this shit. Like, your person just, like, I went through a hell of a lot of shit for nothing. Like, but it was lessons, though. <laughs> Nine of Wands. It was definitely some lessons. But they, they, they like, damn. You know, once you go through that realization moment, like, it's like, fuck. I was really playing, playing myself. And I was letting these people play me. Like, damn. I was letting them all up in my energy, telling me what I'm supposed to be doing and what I'm not. Yeah, not a, not a night of swords. That's why your person is in this serious energy. Like, nah, we're not doing that. Ten of swords. Your person missing you, bro. They hate the way shit ended between y'all. Okay? Some of y'all may have felt your person betrayed you. Or your person is feeling like they betrayed you. Or this is just the betrayal of others your person is feeling. And they realizing, like, you being solid. You being loyal. Like I said. These people was fake as fuck. And your person got betrayed by some of these family and friends. Yeah, the moon. Secrets. Motherfuckers been betraying your person behind the scenes for a long time. Yep, nine of wands here. And your person, I'm telling you, that shit brought them to their knees. Page of Pentacles, when they found that shit out, and it's evidence. It's physical evidence about the betrayals and shit. Like, damn. Everybody caught. So your person is seeing you as the sun. You real, you authentic, and you illuminate the truth. <laughs> your person, I feel like your person went your, I feel like you gave your person some type of spiritual advice. You may have told your person about these people. Because I'm seeing with this hermit mode, I, hermit energy, this Virgo energy, could be a Virgo. I'm seeing this person remembering certain conversations or things you said. And they, like, went within. Like, this person seeing the truth about it. Like, yeah, words that you spoken. Like, yeah, this person is seeing it illuminated. Like, damn, they did tell me that, like, and I didn't believe it. Like, so, yeah, whatever truth you spoke to this person has been revealed. Okay? So, it's like, it's in your face now. So, what are you going to do?
So your person is just like, you know, move out the way. Like, they know the truth. And these people, some of these people don't even know your person know about the betrayal. They just moving forward and they cutting people off abruptly. For some of y'all, they cutting these people off abruptly. Ten of Swords, yes. Because this King of Cups, he's ready for real love. He's ready to express real, genuine love, bro. He's ready to be in love. He's ready, yeah, for a real spiritual connection. Three of Swords. This this is somebody who is tired of being in failed relationships, whether they are platonic or romantic. This person has experienced hurt on both ends, and they sick of sick of going through the through, through a healing process with fake motherfuckers. You the only one that's reigning true. Yeah, Five of Swords. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers. I'm telling your person ending ending this shit. Ace of Cups because they in love with you. For some of y'all, like I said, you about to get new love. Others of y'all, y'all know who it is. This your person. They in love with you. These people try to keep your person definitely trapped in a mental prison in their head. But like I said, for some of y'all, y'all person was locked up. And these people out here, you know, was tarnishing your person's name and reputation. And y'all held that shit down for your person. Like, nah. That ain't even true. You feel me? So when this person get out, you know... Not only are they going to know the truth about these motherfuckers, but you going to know. So, you know, your person put motherfuckers in their place. They can't come. No, nah, you can't come kick it over here. You don't respect my person. You don't fuck with me either. Like, yeah, these people are, are really pissed about this shit. Tennis Wars, like, you really in this shit with us so you can be with her or him? Like, the fuck yeah, because it's real love. I just saw the world card. King of Pentacles, yeah. Cause, but I'm telling you now, it's only because of this person's resources. They pull, they work ethic. You know what I'm saying? This person can get some money. This person a money getter. They are, they are money magnet. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, man or woman. It's the energy. This motherfucker money magnet and a go getter. So it's really all about the resources and, and, and capitalizing off this person's energy and they name. Like I said, clout to fame. These motherfuckers clout chasers. Cloud chasers, users and abusers, smile in your face, act like they fuck with you, but really be talking about you. Like these motherfuckers have a whole little secret group chat type shit, talking shit. But in your face, they like, oh, bro, sis, yeah, or yeah, you my baby, you my man. Like, nah, bitch, you a hater for real. Some of these, some of y'all persons realized they was sleeping with the fucking enemy, and this bitch was plotting to set them up. Shit. Five of Swords, a setup bitch. Somebody was a setup bitch. Okay? Somebody is a setup bitch. Okay? A con artist. That's what they do. They find niggas with money. And they they a con artist. They be setting niggas up to get robbed. Some of these niggas got shot. Yup. <laughs> robbed, shot. <laughs> um motherfuckers get house getting robbed. Kicked in. You know how it go. Motherfuckers getting set up hitting licks. Yeah, these, these bitches who help these bum ass niggas set up licks and shit. Fraudulent activity. Yeah, five of cups. Okay, yeah, these people in regret. But your person is letting go. They letting go of the grief when it comes to these situations. And I feel like they coming out of this self-pity energy. Like, woe is me. Like, okay, it is what it is. But I know who I want. I know who's destined for me. I know what we can do. And they ready for something real. Look, the Wheel of Fortune. Can't make it up. Look, the Emperor on that ass told you. I can't make this shit up. Okay? Yeah, these motherfuckers, these Cormix is losing everything. They don't have any uh, energy to harvest anymore from you and your person. These people are totally blocked out. So like I said, there is an Emperor here who wants to make peace with a Divine Feminine. Okay, he's listening to his intuition. He's leaving these karmic people behind. He is following his divine path and things are looking up. The will is turning in his favor and also in your favor because you have great fortune and opportunities coming your way. I feel like on an independent level, that's going to create more opportunities for you and your divine masculine um, that's coming towards you. So God is working it out all in your favor. The will of fortune is in your favor. These people are hating. They're mad because they're experiencing endings with your person. And your person ain't trying to reconcile. 
It's over. Not Knight of Swords is I said what I said. If you wanna, how you wanna go about it. King of Swords is more like I said what I said, and I ain't getting up off my throne. This Knight of Swords is getting active. Look, Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. I told you they want to offer you an apology, and they want to talk about taking this to another level. Ace of Pentacles, commitment, marriage, possibly. You know, possibly this person could want to, you know, give you some money. But with the hangman here, this person has been enlightened. So, yeah, this person is seeing you in a whole new light. You know, they're ready for this high-level commitment because it's real love. You know, they're just in this energy of let's make love, love. Like the very first time. Your person ready to make love, baby. I ready to give you something real solid, something loyal, something real, something you can feel. So it could be a ring, a gift, some money, and something tangible here. But it's definitely a gift granted from the most high. An opportunity for some of y'all. It could be a new opportunity. Uh, some of y'all, your person can, is about to uh, uh, a new job. Your person got a new job. So yes, congratulations, Devon Masculine or Devon Feminine. But I feel like there's an emperor here who is getting a new job. You about to be approved for that job you thought you wasn't going to get. You about to get it. Divine Masculine. And this is all coming from God himself. Father God. You listen. You learn. Now it's time for you to obtain and be successful, Divine Masculine. Not saying that you weren't, but God is getting ready to increase your, your pockets, your opportunity, your material wealth here. Will of Fortune here. It's part of your birthright. You're royal as fuck. You should know that, Divine Masculine. Okay? Yeah, Nine of Wands. You've you been through enough. It's time for you to rise above here. You might have lost some battles, but you've won this war. For sure. You may have, took it, you may have taken hella losses. But you're about to gain ten times over. Of whatever it is you lost. Whether it's emotional, physically, spiritually. Whatever these people were stealing from you. <laughs> King of Swords. What did I say? So yeah. <laughs> he said what the fuck he said. This is what he's thinking. King of Swords here. King of Wands. Ready to take action. This, this, this King of Swords is coming to tell you the truth. Give you an apology. And talk about exactly how they feel. And where... You know, the next steps are for y'all. Do you want to pursue or do you want to go your separate ways? I, but I feel like y'all want to go. Y'all want to be with this person. That's what I feel like. I feel like y'all want to be with this person. And I feel like they want to be with you. They know the truth. They know that they love you. They know they want to be with you for the rest of their life. There's nothing else to question, guess, or nothing. That you solid, you real, you loyal, you truthful. You do people right. You feel me? Yes, this person is in love with you. The truth is, I never got over you. Somebody is an ex here, yo. Somebody from your past. Look, look, Queen of Cups. Told you. This person in love with you, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine. And this Divine Feminine is in love with you. She's never stopped loving you. She's loved you even in separation. Even in the midst of your mishap. Even in the midst of your calamity. Like this divine feminine never stopped loving you. Never stopped praying for you. Always wished you well. Always prayed you got it together. Always prayed you saw your vision. This divine feminine saw great vision for you. And she just prayed that you saw the same vision for yourself. If not greater. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles trying to peek through. Yeah, this is going to be a very long-lasting, passionate beginning. Yeah, justice here. Told you. Your person's like, they ready for this new beginning. They ready to bring justice to you, your name. Ten of Pentacles, royal shit only, baby. I'm telling you. Birthright shit. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles again. Yeah, these were karmic interferences here. Five of Swords, Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords. Your person needed to be betrayed and defeated by these people because there were lessons that needed to be learned. Will of Fortune. Karma needed to be paid out. And your person passed. They didn't give up this time. They actually listened to their higher self. They didn't second guess. 
This person is confident in, in, in themselves and confident in their thought process when it comes to decision making and tapping into their discernment and utilizing their intuition to help them move accordingly through these people, these energies, these Rubicubas, the Dizzy Bop Committee, because that's what they are, Karmic Dizzy Bop Committee motherfuckers. And, and, and these people, like I said, now they're reaping the same type of consequences. They in regret and loss. Because everybody's secrets is coming out. Nobody's safe right now. Especially with this solar eclipse and this that lunar moon, whatever that fuck that I told y'all, the moon ain't fucking around with these motherfucking karmic motherfuckers. The Dizzy Bop Rubicubas. They not fucking around. This shit backfired so motherfucking hard it's not funny. Look, eight of wands. I told you, the moon told you, bitch, I'm going to hit you, not them. Seven of Wands. Y'all been protected. The moon told them exactly that. I'm going to hit y'all ass. Nah, they thought it was sweet because shit wasn't happening when they thought it was going to happen. Will of Fortune. It's all about, and Father God, it's all about God's timing. So, yeah, they thought they was getting away with murder. Some of these people plotted to murder you, unalive you and your person, but it was blocked. It was blocked. God blocked it. They couldn't touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. These people are, yeah, they getting it. And everything's coming out. Okay, everybody getting exposed. They deep, dirty, dark-ass secrets that they thought nobody would ever find out. Everybody's, yeah, and, and they not liking it. But it's making room for this person to come towards you because they got to focus on their own life. They shit blowing the fuck up. It's in shambles. Nine of Wands. These people are being brought to their knees to the point where they're waving the white flag because this spiritual warfare they cause, they don't want no smoke. I'm telling you. They got fair warning. And the moon is definitely talking to y'all. Okay? Feel it. See it. Look up. This moon be talking to y'all. Whatever you hear when you look at the moon is exactly what the moon said. Okay, yeah, four of wands here. You and this person are going towards a sacred union. But I'm telling you, these people try to destroy it. You and this person are going to build a home together. A life. Y'all going to be very happy. Yeah, two of wands. This, this person is choosing a higher vision. They're choosing to be great. They're choosing, choosing, a, choosing a great partner. <laughs> yeah. You bring them strength. I'm telling you, you balance them out. You bring peace to the beast. That's what you do. Yeah, two of cups here. You're their soulmate. They want this relationship with you. They want this sacred reunion. Like I said, Devon Feminine, you're an enchantress. They feel like you're an enchantress here. You have them by the cojones, okay? You got their heart. Not just the physical part but you got their heart ace of cups two of cups queen of cups king of cups four of wands the sun card you bring peace to the beast and that's what they yearn for i just heard i can't leave you alone i'm not in this in it ain't that phoenix yeah, this person can't. Yo, touch. Look how you soften this person. This person could be rough. They could be very aggressive. Or, you know what I'm saying? This person just could have lived a very hard life. So they are always in this defense demeanor. Or they always very serious. They're a very militant individual. But look how when she touched him. Look at this lion. Look at his face. It's like, oh my God. Like, you make this person weak. Like, you bring out that soft side in them. You calm them. You bring them. They can surrender. They don't have to resist it with you. You know, they don't have to be defensive. All right. But like your touch just does something to this person. It's so warm. It's you seeing tingles down they, they spine. I just had, I got this Jones for a minute, my bones. Okay. So yeah, three of wands. This person definitely been manifesting and calling you in. The world card, okay? Endings for new beginnings, new successful beginnings. Some of y'all could definitely be online, okay? And your person watches you, all right? And they watch you be great. It's amazing to them. It's like, damn, that's my person up there doing they want to. Look at my boo, okay? 
So yeah, y'all been putting yourselves out there in the long light. Your person like them, shine on, baby, shine. Yeah, you are a reflection of them. Okay, you got the King of Pentacles in the fucking reverse. I feel like your person had to cut off a leech here. And it could have been a homeboy. All right, but this is somebody who, who is not stable and they're codependent on, on, on your person. I feel like it's a codependent masculine. This is somebody who, yeah, they just definitely pull on your person a lot. All right, I heard Mikasa and Sukasa. I don't know what the fuck, but I guess your person tired of sharing. Like, no, bro, like, you gonna have to get on your, you, 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 they gonna have to get their hustle up. They gonna, your person telling whoever this homeboy is, that's codependent that I feel like your person has always looked out for. They're like, bro, you're going to have to turn your hustle up because I can't do it no more. Okay, they could be an earth sign. Don't have to be. Uh, uh, don't have to be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but they definitely are codependent. But your person is cutting off a friend, you know, and yeah. And some of y'all, it could be a, a job. Some of y'all, it's the job. They tell them that they quit. They like, they telling the boss. This boss was not doing right by the money. For some of y'all, they could have been stealing your person's money, stealing time or, you know what I'm saying, just being short on your person's check or the time not adding up with the, you know, they check and they numbers. They, that's why God is offering your person a brand new, a grand. This this some money, this this more money than whatever job they they had god is like no nah, you got to get 10 times that so yeah somebody about to get a eight of cups told you i can't make it up so yeah for some of y'all it's a job others of y'all it's a homeboy that was blocking yeah karmic job or a karmic homeboy but i'm telling you your person can't get away from you bro yeah, five of wands, bro. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers was toxic at a job or within a community. Or for some of y'all, a mixture of both. Yeah, eight of, eight of swords. These people was trying to entrap this person. All right? Keep this person stuck. They want this person all to themselves, even if it's a job. They want, want, want your person to work, 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 work. They don't want your person to have a love life. They want Because your person has a good work ethic. But I feel like they was taking advantage. I feel like that person may have worked a lot of long hours for these motherfuckers and they don't appreciate it. And then be trying to play with their money. Like, no, we're not doing that. So God's like, no, I'm finna take you up out of that. Don't even worry about it. Eight of cups that ass and tell them you ain't coming back. So this, yeah, and for some of y'all, it's a bro. They like, bro, you gonna have to, you know, you gonna have to get it together, bro. I can help you a little bit, but I can't stay. You feel me? I can't hold your hand. You're going to have to find your way on your own like I did. You're going to have to eight a cup some shit. You're going to have to sacrifice. You're going to have to find some discipline too. Like, yeah, you're going to have to find a path, my boy. Yeah, somebody, homeboy, or your person is telling this homeboy the truth. Okay. So, yeah. And it took a lot of courage because I feel like they love this homeboy. I don't feel like it's a toxic, you know, friendship but i do feel like they were holding your person back because they thrive off of your person's energy and your person just setting boundaries with them yeah nine of swords here so your person can't get you off of their mind bro they, like, like they want you real bad yeah four of swords here this person is healed enough they've been balancing but i'm telling you you stay on their mind you run the circles around that bitch page of ones yeah here i come baby page of ones they come here to tell you some good news shit come here baby i love you shit i apologize some of y'all your person about to find out they got uh uh uh, uh the job they wanted they about to get uh some news yeah like a letter or some type of communication to let them know that they got the job and they're gonna tell you like damn i got the job yeah they gonna tell you first like baby i got the job you're gonna be happy because it's definitely gonna change the dynamic between y'all two y'all gonna be able to spend more time yeah, page of swords here. Definitely got a lot of eyes on you and your person, but your person watches you closely, for real. They've been observing you. Yeah, not a cups, because they want you, and they got to have you. Yeah. They definitely broke up with somebody or released an energy here. So, like I said, it could be a toxic baby mama or a job or an ex. Okay, yeah, cherry, because this person coming straight towards you. Period. Yeah, six of wands here. Six of swords. 
somebody was playing with some spell work too with the seven of cups but your person is no longer confused cancer energy mm -hmm. yeah left, left the past behind to move forward with you get on a path six of swords here and, and and obtain some type of success and victory with you this person is ready to love you out loud here you're everything they want they need yeah two of wands here ace of swords this is the truth that person ready to love you out loud. They ready to tell the world, like, this is my baby and we we rocking. Somebody ain't gonna like it though, like an ex. And this job could be mad, but a person don't give a fuck. I feel like if it's a if it's a female boss though, I do feel like this bitch like your person. <laughs> and I do feel like this bitch tries to keep your person at work because they like like your person. Like, they want to fuck your person. So, they try to keep them at work a lot with them. Like, yeah, just close to them, under them, which is some weird ass shit. Okay. And this bitch be asking, what you, what you doing? Where you going? Like, bitch, what did you worry about it for? Your person made, made a mistake and mentioned your ass one time. This bitch start tripping after that. Start getting rude, unruly and attitude. Like, bitch, who is you talking to? Like, you my boss, but... Nah, come on, man. Like, yeah, this bitch could have got real unruly and shit. Or this baby mama. It could be a baby mama next or an ex-boss. It could even be a male boss acting like a hoe. Shit. Look. The sacred union. But love within inner and outer relationships. Yeah, your person is learning to love themselves from the inside out. Okay? So now they come in, in with true love because they love themselves. Rose without thorns, you have the right to your joy. Your joy, peace, sweetness of life. So yeah, your person is releader, re releader, releasing all that bitter ass energy from within them and around them. Your person wants to be happy, bro. Release the petals, transformation, death and rebirth, shedding all change. I'm telling you, this person is no longer the same. They don't even talk the same. Their conversation has changed. People can't resonate with your person. And when they and some of these, some of these people, when they can't resonate with, with you no more, they talk about you. What the fuck they talking about? They didn't they didn't change. They now all of a sudden they think they know everything. Nah, bitch, I'm just changed. Okay. I'm evolved. I'm an evolved being. And either you can meet me there or, or get left. Look, Temple of the Rose. Ancient power, expression, activation, and scarlet codes here. So your person definitely did a lot of deep soul searching. This person is now connecting with their high vibrational ancestors as well. The child within, inner mother, innocence, gentleness, and tenderness here. So, yeah, there definitely was some child, you know, some insecurities from their childhood or, you know, childhood trauma that they needed to heal from within and definitely, like, embrace this new journey and, and forgive themselves here. And like I said, it could have been a mother or father issues. You know, like I said, some of y'all could have experienced a lot of childhood trauma and it definitely affected, you know, you or your person in their adulthood or in your adulthood. But changes have been made, and I do feel like you've healed that, and you're ready to birth life here, a new life. Without the pain, you know, all brand new beginnings here. Plant yourself here, integration, emb embodiment, and grounded action. So, yes, this person knows exactly what they want to do, and guess what? They're not afraid to do it. They're grounded here. They're confident. They know what they want. The return, a new story, you decide, alignment, it's coming together. So it's all coming together. This person is coming back to you, okay? Or you're getting the love that's been due to you if this is new love. The same love that you've been giving out and manifesting in return is coming back to you. You're about to rewrite your love life. Your love life is about to be renewed and revamped, restored, regenerated with divine companionship here. So, yeah. Healing the mother line. Healing ancestral work. Mother line and growing up. So, for some of y'all, mother issues was a factor. For some of y'all, it could have been a mother figure or a mother that was, inter, you know what I'm saying, intervening or, you know, interfering in this connection. 
you know they felt threatened by their son finding real love or their daughter finding real love and you know they feared it so they started to try to you know put their hands in something they didn't have any business doing but i do feel like there's been some type of forgiveness or healing or boundary set you know but your person is healed whatever issues concerning the mother father inner childhood yeah they're they're, they're they got it all together cold codes of the seeds here the blueprint is within you take the next step that's that hermit energy so your person definitely it's all them it's nothing nobody can deter this person from the decision they they made in the direction in which they want to go which is to come towards you and renew this the holy grail stop stop the endless searching inner quest yes your person realized that they were searching for for what they needed and it was already in other people you know searching for what they needed and outside people and it was already in them and now they see you when they see you they see them so it's definitely like a mirroring energy here the crowning here initiation thresh, threshold birth rebirth a seat at the table y'all are being crowned here psalms 23 y'all table is being prepared here Y'all will sit amongst the greatest here. Y'all are connected to a very strong royal hierarchy, um, ancestral lineage, and bloodline here. The wild rose, do it, your, do it your way. Embrace your uniqueness untamed here. So, yeah, your person is letting it all hang out. You know, they, they really uh, dropping the mask. They're being themselves authentically, and either people rock with them and like them for them and, and recognize the growth and the maturity or they can kick rocks, okay? Yeah, the Temple of the Rose. Ancient power, expression, activation, and scarlet codes. So, yes, your person is awakened to their ancient cosmic power, okay? So, they're realizing they're royal as fuck, too. Just like you. She just like me. And your person want to make peace with you, baby. So, their current thoughts is coming towards you with an apology. Reconciliation. Uh, a solid offer probably telling you like they got a new job which you know they they can take care of you now you know or they can you know provide you with what you need so they're not coming empty handy baby and the ten of pentacles is out here so y'all definitely destined to make a chain chain getting paid over here a lot of money you and this person y'all gonna it's a whole lot of money in this month you and this person gonna get a whole lot of money because the divine is gonna make sure y'all got it Y'all, every need is going to be met. People going to be so jealous of y'all. Like, it's an envious relationship, but y'all also going to have a lot of people look up to y'all. And y'all going to be the bl bl blueprint for, you know, other people like, you know, that want the same type of love here. You know, y'all going, y'all, y'all are, you know, the blueprint. Not saying people, you know, going to get the exact same type of relationship, but as far as that connection and that, that companionship that union and that collaboration great minds coming together and co-creating with god and the divine and you know what i'm saying procreating and co-creating and manifesting and bringing abundance to life and you got inner child at the bottom of the deck again so it could have something to do with a child too all right there probably needed to be a paternity test or something but you know your person got what they needed it's true justice and balance here and generational wealth a lot of abundance here uh, excuse me confirmation nine of cups this person they ain't going nowhere they coming straight towards you cancer gemini energy out here motherfucker aquarius leo taurus energy as well inner strength here so yeah this person definitely is gaining the confidence so they have they like, baby, I'm strong for the both of us. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm here now. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky. So, yeah, this person is just finding out with this moon card that a lot of people been moving maliciously behind their back. You know, making promises they can't keep. Making alliances. Not being loyal. You know, being disloyal and shit. But I also feel like your person is doing something you don't see. I feel like it's good, though. I don't feel like it's bad. I feel like they want to sneak up on you with this this offer, this opportunity or even this good news and shit. 
They could call you like, let me take you out to eat or let's go out to eat or, you know, come on, let me take you somewhere. Look, daydreaming and finding Oracle. This person definitely been listening to tarot, but their intuition is on point. Yeah, shadow work here. This person definitely been doing the work. Definitely been doing the work. Definitely been doing the work. They, they know what they needed to heal and, and, and God showed them how to heal it. So, yeah, this person been breaking generational curses and karmic cycles. Learning a lot of karmic lessons as well. They face themselves to, face to face. They look feared right in the face. And they conquered them demons here. But I'm telling you, the more this person heals, the more they sit and think about you. The more they daydream about you here. But, yeah, this person definitely has gotten some type of spiritual confirmation. If it's not physical tarot, this person has got some type of dream message. Some type of dream here to confirm that you are the one. Or, you know what I'm saying, something of whatever clarity they needed from the divine, which I think is about you. And are you the one? Look, abundance here. This person, no. Y'all about to be rich. You and this person going to be really good financially. Your person knows what's up. It's nothing but abundance and disconnection. The grind. I'm telling you, baby. Y'all work ethic. Y'all gonna be a power couple, a dynamic duel. I dig, uh, Callie. And you know what's crazy? It started, uh, hailing and storming, um, not too long ago over here. Follow the spark here. So this person is definitely following their passion. You light up their heart, bro. You're their inspiration. You're part of their passion. The Ace of Wands here. Look, fresh start. They want a fresh start with you. Okay, yes. Because they want to bring justice to you, baby. All is fair. So your person could have been uh, definitely battling some legal issues. Like I said, your person could have been in jail. They finna get out. Okay, uh, a, a parole hearing or something like that for some of y'all. Your person, yeah, they about to get out. Good behavior. They served their time. They did what they needed to do. They coming home to you. Bars. Others of y'all, your person didn't, didn't beat some type of legal issues or they're rising above some type of financial uh, financial restraints within the legal system that has caused them to be stagnated in their finances. They're beating this shit. God is giving your person a fresh start. So a new job, bro, y'all hustle finna turn up. Look, divine timing. Can't make this up. Y'all hustle finna turn up. You and this person finna turn y'all life up. It's finna get real lit. Look, y'all finna travel, explore and shit. Y'all finna take flights, okay? Yeah, y'all finna make them mad. Look, choose love. They looking at your a profile on social media, staring at your pictures with your posts. Yeah, and so is the community. They finna love you out loud. These people about to see who this person in love with for real, for real. They choosing love. All is fair. Love and war, baby. They choosing love. It's all in divine timing. Oh, this is all divine timing. Momentum. They coming towards you. That's chariot energy. This person coming towards you. They don't care how they got to get to you. They coming towards you. They don't care if they got an Uber, got a rental car, get on a plane, whatever it takes to get to you. They, they coming to, towards you because they not finna miss this opportunity. They want to take you out. They want to show you off. They want to let everybody know that's me. Okay? Stuck. So, yeah. These people wanted your person to be stuck and stagnated in this karmic ass cycle and energy. They wanted your person to stay stagnated in their shadow. And that's not what God wanted or had for this person. So your person is broken free. Okay? Yeah. Make a wish. You are their wish fulfillment. You are what they pray for. <laughs> they pray for this second chance. They pray for this new opportunity. And they did the work. They had to show God they were uh, 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 deserving of this opportunity. They had to. Yeah, they went through a lot of shit, though. I ain't going to care. The battles and the struggles was real, but it's all worth it here. Yeah, make a wish. It's all worth it because everything is coming to pass as it should with divine uh, divine timing. I was about to say divine feminine. Okay, your person definitely looking at your pictures, old texts, videos, 
whatever you sent this person or if they have access to your social media here. Somebody could be going to jail for some type of social media uh, cyber attacks here as well. Somebody could have definitely been making, yeah. Some of y'all, ooh. Some of y'all, y'all person that found evidence of fake accounts and shit in, in your name. In a Cormac's phone. Like a burner phone. Okay? They about to come show you this shit. And you about to take this bitch to court. Or you will. Or you have evidence, enough evidence to take this bitch to court for defamation. And, and all the money this bitch made off of you, the bitch got to give it back. Fill your cup. The bitch got to fill your cup. That's what these Cormac's get. So somebody about to have to pay out a divine feminine. Okay? Yeah. And, and if she can't pay out... This bitch might have to do some time. Shit. In your bag. Told you. Boom. Like I said, baby. Y'all in y'all bag. So is your person. But somebody gonna have to uh -huh, put it in the bag. Bitch, give me my money. Bitch better have my money. Yeah. On some Rihanna shit. Bitch, you know what's up. Look. Out of strength here. Somebody definitely put in a lot of time to fuck with you on the internet. Cyber attacks here. Might just see what that say though. But I'm definitely getting cyber attacks here. Somebody was definitely making accounts, making money off your name and shit. And then lying on you, trying to make you look like you ain't who you say you are to this divine masculine. Okay, this emperor here. Somebody was definitely doing some shit with your, with your pictures and your name. Could have even made some uh, fake bank accounts in your name and shit. Yeah, somebody could have definitely been scamming with your information and shit. All right, yeah. Somebody about to get all that shit. That shit finna backfire on they stupid ass. Yeah, but y'all finna get all y'all wishes granted. Your cup is about to run over. God's about to grant all your wishes here. Also, it says deep cellular heal healing here. So, yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, cellular uh repair that's been happening you know divine um dna regeneration and shit so yeah your person definitely needed to heal some um some dna repairs rejection is re redirection opposing forces facing conflict head on Yes, this means victory is guaranteed, but the challenges you encounter along the way are as important as the achievement itself. Any setback is a setup for your success. For your success, do not do not take no for an answer. And then yes, come out. So God wants you to say yes. There is a yes in this in this situation for somebody. Okay? But yeah. Your person is not going to take no for an answer. They're going to put in the work. But yeah, y'all in y'all bag here. Look, deep inner knowing. Deep knowing this person know. They six senses is kicking in. Tidy up here. This person definitely been sweeping around their front door, cleaning up their act. Okay? Making the adjustments. Okay? Yeah. This person, baby, listen. This person know. They know what's up. You may be sleep on this person, but they ain't sleep on you. Y'all, why I almost been on this motherfucker for three hours? Oh, my Lord. Thank you to everybody who liked the video, though. One more car, Holy Spirit. Burdens here. Yup. Y'all person, I'm telling you, they carried a lot, but they also released this shit, too. Study. It was a learning lesson. This person needed to go through some learning lessons here. What's that, Holy Spirit? Undress. Your person's ready to be authentic with you. Body work. So, yeah, your person definitely been getting healthy, getting their mind right, getting their body right, changing up their diet, detoxing. Maybe your person has some addictions they needed to heal and clear, but it's happening. going okay got some oracle messages over here i'm gonna get them last look bottom of the deck you got inevitable here it's infinite for you and this person it's written in in the stars 
you don't love me here. So your person definitely is hoping and praying that you still got some love for them in your heart and that you're willing to hear them out because they come into you correct. They gonna come in a very humble energy. You know, they gonna respect your boundaries and shit. This person is matured a whole lot. This emperor is ready for the empress. If you accept them back for some of y'all, others of y'all, this is new love, baby. So be ready to deal with the real grown man or grown woman. Okay? You ain't gonna have to worry about, you know what I'm saying, dealing with this person, how you dealt with all those other exes or failed relationships or your bigger baby mama's baby daddies in the past. You ain't gonna have to worry about that with this person. Real grown man, grown woman shit. Yeah, commitment. Like I said, real grown man, grown woman shit. This person definitely got some type of spiritual confirmation, whether it was through tarot or a dream here. Your person is psychic here. But they're ready to commit. Look, there will be a return. Baby, this person coming back to you. Yeah, I need to reach out. This person is going to reach out. I was dis disillusioned. This person was under some type of spell work or this person was definitely, yeah, somebody was doing some spell work. Somebody was doing some spell work and this person was just very confused. They didn't know what to do. Yeah, triggers here. But these are karmic lessons that triggered, triggered these events in this person's life that they needed to learn. So it's like now they learn, they learn in the lesson. They know the lesson now. Baby, you know you're fine. Baby, you know I'm feeling you. This person feel like you fine. You look good as fuck. They love your body. Divine masculine or feminine. Y'all look good as fuck. Y'all definitely are a good looking ass couple. Very attractive couple. Like, people wouldn't mind. Like, if you were into that, if you and your person were into that, other couples would not mind. Like, sure, let's do it. Like, that's how good y'all look. Y'all attract people together. Never again here. Yeah, I told you this person ain't returning to them karmic energies, baby. I was disillusioned. I told you never again. They said that shit ain't never gonna happen. Okay? And that's why they kept their options open in the past here. Or they didn't commit to you fully. Because they were confused. They needed these lessons. It brought clarity. It brought truth. It brought healing and it brought transformation. So it was inevitable. Thank y'all for rocking it out with me. Those of y'all who stay for my long ass readings. I'm sorry, y'all. But I got to give y'all what God want me to give y'all. Okay. Destined soul tie. So there was a lot of karmic lessons learned, but also there was a lot of transformations and initiations here. All right. But this person feels like y'all are soulmates here. Y'all have a soul tie. Okay. This person feels connected to you on a deep soul level. Yeah. Staying your ground here. So yeah, your person definitely is seeing numbers, signs, and synchronicities. All right. 333 three, 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 seven, seven, seven. 222, 22, 22, 22, 111. Okay, 611, 711. Like, yeah, 444. Like, your person is seeing all these number sinks and signs. You still miss me. So, this person misses you, bro. They miss you a whole lot. And they be wondering if you feel the same. This person definitely wonders if you miss them. Like, when y'all apart. If you and this person are in communication, when y'all apart, they wonder if you miss them. Because they be missing the fuck out of you. They think about you all the time, even if they don't show it. Because for some of y'all, y'all person could be the, the king of swords, a little distant when y'all not together. But they always thinking about you. This person just, you know, they try not to do too much. Like, damn, I'm thinking about this person, but I don't want to, you know, drown them. You know, like, clingy, you know, be all extra clingy. But I feel like y'all wouldn't mind it. Like, tell me how you feel. Let me know you're thinking about me, baby. I don't care if you text me two or three times a day. You know, if you expressing your love and gratitude to me, show me, baby, tell me. Like, yeah, learning to forgive. So, yeah, some of y'all definitely are going to have to forgive this person returning. But others of y'all, you know, forgive those exes and, you know, people that, you know, it didn't work out with. And these fuck-ass bitches and niggas who wanted to destroy y'all love life. Okay, forgive them. You know, they, 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 they were low vibrational. I mean, they knew better, but they didn't know no better. 
but the forgiveness is for you so you can move forward peacefully, okay, in your life, all right? But I do feel like your person needed to learn how to forgive themselves for the past, you know, and, and, and forgive their, their inner child, forgive that that little boy or little girl within them that never got, you know, healed, that they, you know, abandoned because they didn't want to face the shadow, you know, they didn't want to face that trauma or they hurt. Some people never change here. So your person is having a harsh realization that some people are, will never change. And some people, you know, will always be stagnated. Stagnated. And they can't take everyone with them to this next level. Yeah, learning to forgive. So, yeah, they are learning to forgive their enemies. You know, um, family and friends who may have backstabbed them, did them wrong. They're moving forward, though underlining motives yeah somebody was playing with magic and shit you see that potion that's a potion somebody was playing with some spell work okay probably some blood i heard blood somebody could have been putting blood and food okay or trying to have sex with this person on a period options are kept over overstep boundaries yeah this is somebody who was playing with spell work trying to keep this person low vibrational okay keep them in third party situations keep them juggling and they wanted to control this person with sex or money for some of y'all if it's a job. Look, unresolved issues here. So you and this person ain't finished. The feelings are mutual. I am their light. You are this person's light. Y'all, listen. Y'all are a light to one another. Y'all could definitely both be star seeds here. Celestial beings. Y'all are light workers. Earth angels, healers, twin flames and shit. I am their light. That's giving me star being energy here. The feelings are mutual. Two of cups. Twin flames. Hollywood soulmate. This is real. Except for all this work. So yeah. He just accepting the, the downfalls and the losses for what they are. Moving on. Forgiving these people. Leaving this shit behind and moving forward and, and realizing that there is greater at the end of the tunnel. You love me. This person been clearing and cleansing their energy. Now they know what real love feels like. Yeah, triggers here. You help this person heal. Okay, things that they didn't even know they needed to heal about themselves here. But you know what I got that little girl that was like, you love me? She was talking to her daddy. And she was like, you love me? And she was sitting on top of his head. And he was like, yes. And she was like, you love me? And he was like, yes. And, he, and she slapped him. Your person, yeah, they love the fuck out of you. They love that you don't play that shit. Except for all this work, yeah. Your person, no, it's, 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 it's more to come with you and them. More abundance, more good memories and things to be made like this person want to make memories with you okay they want to do life with you changes will be made i told you someone better your person knows you're the one this person knows they were settling for a third party or they were just settling you know with keeping their options open because they they were confused and scared scared of love and non-committal you moved on. So like I said, for a lot of y'all, y'all move forward. I don't necessarily think you moved on to another person or relationship. Some of y'all, y'all may have started dating, but I feel like you moved on towards focusing on you. Okay. And it brought you a lot of healing and abundance and opportunities, which puts you in a, a, a strong nine of pentacles energy, man or woman. And your person is seeing that. Like you're not the same. You're not in the same place you were. When, you know, y'all separated or where y'all left off, you're better. So, yeah, someone better. You don't love me. So, for some of y'all, it was placed in this person's head that you don't really love them. That you were there to use them for what they got. They sex or, you know what I'm saying, clout. Or, you know, you just wanted to control them and string them along, but you didn't really love them. You wanted to tell them what to do. And that was the furthest from the truth. Look, closure. Now this person knows the truth. They can close this shit out because it's over. Pride keeps us apart. Your person, need, they needed to be humble, like I said. So they can see the truth and, and break through these illusions that were being cast by these family members, friends, these exes or rubicubas, whatever the fuck they served in this person's life. See them for who they are.
Yes, it can be reversed for males and Antonio. It can definitely be reversed. Wrong time and place. Yes. Y'all were not in the right. Y'all were both not. Y'all were not in the right place to re to unite. To come into a full-blown union then. Because there were some lessons that needed to be learned and some, some karma that needed to be cleared out. So, yeah. Look, closure, like I said. So, yeah. It was definitely a learning lesson. Your person definitely, you know what I'm saying? Now they putting that wisdom and knowledge they have to work. Yeah. Definitely found out a lot about this community and some cyber attacks here. Okay? Could have been a lot of gang stalking. Yep, all eyes on you. So people are regretting gang stalking you. Um, cyber bullying you, trying to bully you within the community, stalking you, invading your privacy, hacking your accounts. Like they did a whole lot. And now they're getting exposed. But all eyes on you. Congrats on on the on the feature, babe. Look, all eyes on you. And then I say key Glock, fuck a feature. They gotta come to you for a feature. It say on this card, it girl. Congrats on the feature, babe. You about to be front page. Okay? Topic of discussion. People finna see you boss up, glow up. You know what I'm saying? Divine masculine, you finna get your money up. Your, your, your cars, all that shit. Home life, everything about you finna, finna go up. So, yeah. Like I said, y'all did y'all own one, two thing. You could be the it guy, it girl, but whatever it may be, you really that. You really him. You really her. Okay? So, yeah. These people did a lot to block this shit and now they realizing it ain't nothing they can do to stop this shit so fuck them i just saw twin flame and now I'm chris brown sorry enough is on sorry i want to love you they want to love you i just saw the empress here pull up on you make them mad i really fuck with you yeah your person finna really Pull up on you. They finna make it known. This person gonna put all this shit on social media. Since everybody wanna talk, let's give them a show, baby. I really love you. Let's really show them how I really love you. Like, for real, this person finna stamp you publicly. And I feel like that's what these bitches didn't want, Divine Feminine. They didn't want this person to stamp you. Or let alone anybody to, you know what I'm saying, stamp you as, as really that. Being the it girl. Fuck them. Look, 1144 Hebrew marriage. So, yeah, it's real royal energy up in this bitch. Real royal blood. Real chosen energy. So, this is your kingdom spouse. You got to build a legacy here. It's destined. It's in your birthright. It's written for you already. This divine, this divine union will go legend. Like I said, bro. I can't make it up. I got this Jones forming in my bones, love. Like I told you. This person... I in love, all this pink. Would you believe me if I said I'm in love? They like, baby, would you believe me if I said I was in love with you? You probably won't, but I'm here. I'm here to show you that I am. I'm about to show you <laughs> better than I can tell you. They gonna drop some money in your hand, or it's gonna be a ring in this bitch in the middle of the in any in the middle of the night. <laughs> in the middle of the day now, baby. I seem to think of only you. So, yeah, like I said, bro, this person can't get you off their mind. You running circles around their shit. It's a marathon. Kiss me like you love me. So, this person, want, they want to kiss. And they want you to kiss them like, like you love them. They miss your kisses. Your warm embrace. Look, kiss me like you love me. Hebrew marriage. Y'all finna do a lot of kisses. I'm coming back to get you. Tell them niggas that it's mine. So Devon Masculine said, tell them niggas that it's mine. Quit playing. What the fuck? I'm going to propose to you soon. Damn. 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 And the big goes on. Damn. <laughs> Y'all finna get proposed to, baby. I can't let you walk away. Baby, I need you. Look, Chris Brown. Can't say sorry enough. A ring. Can't say sorry enough, baby. Look, come. Will you marry me? I love you. My ex is throwing salt, but they just mad because I choose you. Yeah, the ex out here throwing salt, like I said. Throwing salt, hating on a real player. Real player from the Himalayas. It don't matter. The pimp game don't change. It stay the same, baby. 
pimping in your blood. It's not on you, it's in you. So yeah, they can hate all they want to, but you're still gonna be in your bag. You still gonna be chasing your dreams. You still gonna be, you know what I'm saying, manifesting and success and abundance for you and yours. So I mean what? Bitch, you could talk about me all day, don't mean you stop the shit. You can throw magic too. You may delay it, don't mean you stop the shit. So these people really knowing who who really is solidified. I can't help myself with you. I'm in love with you. See, this person that is in love with you. They can't help how they feel. They can't help, you know, what the action they want to take towards you. Oh, y'all saw that shit popped out. Twin flame, baby. Can't make it up. Told you. I am make this shit up. Let's pick up where we left off right before we crept off. No communication separation. So you and this person may be talking, but it's very little to none. And y'all in separation. Y'all not in full union yet. Y'all still not living under the same roof. You feel me? And y'all ain't engaged. Shit. It's about to happen though. I'm working on setting healthy boundaries. Protecting their energy. They are protecting their energy here. They don't want nobody coming in. Look. 11-11. Here comes your twin flame. This is a high level soul made twin flame. But y'all see that twin flame. A lot of y'all shot motherfucking twin flame. Okay. Or for some of y'all, y'all getting somebody else's twin flame. That's why twin flame keep coming out for you. Okay. Some of y'all, y'all got somebody else's twin flame. I keep picking that up. Okay. But there's a high level soul made here for us, for some of y'all as well. I'm taking spiritual baths and cleansing my energy. Yeah, this person is cleansing their energy, baby. They are understanding the power and the healing powers of water. The spiritual benefits and the healing powers and cleansing, you know, powers of, of water here. This is somebody who is understanding spiritual purity here. So, yeah, they definitely been doing a lot of work. But you got the Ace of Swords here. So, yeah, this is the truth. Your person knows the truth. They see the truth. All right? Okay. One, one, one. I want a new beginning with you. So, yeah, this person wants a new beginning with you. And they know the truth about this connection. <laughs> oh, those Holy Spirit. Archangel Michael. What do you want them to know? I can't wait for the day that we can be together. Okay, so this person is anticipating this union too. They're ready whenever you are. I want marriage and hella babies with you. Your person want marriage and hella babies with you. For those of you who, who can have babies or want more children, it's happening. Look, Archangel Michael protection. So yeah, God is making sure that you and your person have heavy protection around y'all at this moment in time. Wow, Archangel Michael is warring for your connection. That's crazy. Archangel Michael is warring for y'all. Real gang shit, you feel me? So yeah, Archangel Michael just confirmed that Holy Spirit <laughs> let you know. Don't, co don't cut me loose, bae, I'm coming. Somebody said, hey, don't cut me loose, I'm coming. So yeah, y'all get ready for this new adventurous union and connection here. Because this is someone uh, who is definitely in tune with their higher self and definitely taking heed to God. Bro, they're listening to God. They're not questioning. All I can think about is kissing you and holding you. So yeah, this person definitely want to cuddle with you, kiss with you, love on you. You feel me? Show you all the love and affection that they missed out on showing you in the past. They are ready to really just be open and vulnerable. I don't want to see you cry anymore. Oh, this person doesn't want you to shed any more tears over them. Okay, they want to heal you, baby. I'm going to spoil your bratty ass. So y'all about to get spoiled. I've pictured what our babies would look like. Spirit baby communication. So y'all spirit babies is connected with this emperor here. So they definitely ready to make some babies with you. Yeah, I'm going to spoil your bratty ass. They definitely going to spoil your ass pregnant here. Okay, they definitely going to give you what you want. Like I said, they going to love your attitude. They going to get on your nerves too because they want this baby to look just like them. 
They want that baby to look just like them, so they don't care about getting on your nerves. They think it's cute. They're going to be there to rub your feet and your ankles. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be there to help you get up out the bed and shit when you big and fat. You feel me? They're going to love you. My inner child comes out and runs free with you. Innocence returns. So, yeah, this person is finding their inner child. You know, that magical, mysterious energy and, you know, playful energy here. All right? I go through your social media pics and likes, likes and comments. <laughs> This person be on your social media. They go through your social media. They go through your pics, your likes, and your comments to see who's talking to you. There is no replacing me. Stop it. This person, damn. Your person cocky as fuck. They said there is no replacing me. Stop it. Or this is you, Divine Feminine. Bold. Yeah, you bold. This is either you or your person. Or both of y'all feeling real like, you know you can't replace me. Feeling bold as hell with one another. Look, Ace of Cups. Y'all in love with each other. This is this is this is going legend. You and this person better do big things. Keisha ain't got shit on Griselda, silent killer. So you a silent killer here. Divine feminine. Keisha ain't got shit on you. Keisha the Rubicuba. Head of the Dizzy Bop committee. Here we go, cause I'm getting hungry now. She, I need to eat. I see us as picture perfect. Oh, your person see y'all as the picture perfect couple. I knew that we were meant to be from day one. Oh, they knew y'all was meant to be from day one. I'm gonna get this last one from the back. Don't cut me loose, babe. I'm coming. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Set it off, babe. You just too far. Your person like, you done set it off in my heart, motherfucker. You too far. I can't let you go. I knew you was the one since day one. Damn. And the bitch goes on. Damn. 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 I love y'all, but this is what I have for y'all. I hope that y'all got what y'all needed from this reading. I hope it brought y'all some clarity, some insight. I hope it was fun and enjoyable. And you know, lighthearted, easy for y'all to digest. You know, I believe in keeping it real, but I also believe in, you know, um, delivering it in a way, you know, that, that allows people the opportunity to digest whatever truth you feel like the divine is speaking through you at that moment in time. So... I hope that, you know, y'all came here and got exactly what you needed because I do give this shit my all, my best. You feel me? And I love y'all. And I want all of y'all to be happy because you deserve it. You feel me? So I'm rooting for all y'all. I'm rooting for my brothers and sisters to win in all aspects of life. You know, what? whatever aspect that is at the moment in time you wanting to win in, I hope that, you know, God continues to bless you. And, you know, allow his favor to rain upon you and shower you and engulf you and submerge you in it. You feel me? So, I love y'all. I definitely want y'all to pray. Keep God first in everything that you do. Definitely stay vigilant in your prayers. Protection prayers. Definitely continue to say your protection prayers. You feel me? Or just if you got time, you know, and you can't get your whole ritual down, maybe just say a quick prayer up to God. Say, hey, God, thank you for another day. I appreciate you for, you know, breathing life into me so that I can create greatness once more. Protect me, lead me and God and order my footsteps. Cover my babies. Allow Archangel Michael to shower and, and, and cover and surround me and my family. And, you know, just be with us. You know, just make sure you let God know that you need him because he's always going to be right there. But he wants you to, he want to know that, you know what I'm saying? He wants you to pray. He wants you to call out to him, you know, ask him for what you want and you shall receive it if you're within uh, alignment, okay? If you're in alignment, okay? People need to start saying that. And I ain't just asking you shall receive. You will get it if you're in alignment with it and God feels like you're deserving of it and you're ready for it. So, but yeah, keep God first, bro. Because he ain't going to never lead you wrong. He ain't never going to lead you into, you know, something or a, a situation or, uh, you know, uh, uh, whatever um, and, and leave you stuck. He going to make sure you got to out. You know, that's how God works. It's only for your highest good. 
so you can recognize who you are and also recognize who he is in your life you know so yeah but i love y'all stay prayed up if you haven't subscribed and you like my vibe go ahead and hit that subscribe button baby and when you do make sure that you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time your girl go live boy post up on this bi y'all know what i say god above all and the rest will truly fall and that's on me baby i love y'all thank you to everybody who liked share subscribe all of the monetary donations is greatly appreciated i love y'all to the depths of my soul okay and i'm gonna continue to push and give y'all my very best upon here and i truly hope that you know y'all got y'all feel that shit so yeah i love y'all stay prayed up uh-huh and that's about it i'm checking out love y'all mm -hmm. namaste choose quiet gang gang i love y'all